There's a tournament coming up that is going to be a classic EVO tournament, so I figured, hey, why not show off one of the games that is my favorite. This is actually my favorite game of all time. If you've seen this small little video of this guy, some nobody named Daigo, he full parries uh, Chun-Li Super. That's the game we're talking about. But uh, before we begin, uh, I'm not sure if most of you know, but unfortunately last night, one of our dear FGC members uh, unfortunately passed away. Uh, C88 Pusha T, he was at the run back over at Super Arcade, and uh, unfortunately due to complications, he, uh, he passed away last night. Uh, I know the fighting game community is in utter shock, and uh, everyone's you know, dealing with this. They've got their own morning May process. I ask what he passed away from? Uh, as far as I know, it was uh, a heart condition. It might have been a heart attack. Uh, we don't have the full autopsy. Was he yet, young? So. I, I actually don't know. He, he, I believe he was in his mid thirties. Oh, yeah. So wow, it was. That is young. Holy. Yeah, it's very young. Um, but please, guys. Uh, while I'm waiting for my, uh, there it is. I'm actually gonna post the link in the chat, guys. If you can see it right there. The link I'm posting in the chat right now is going to go straight to a website where we're taking donations for C88 Pusha T uh, just to offset the cost for the funeral and to offset any costs that his family may incur uh, after the funeral to help them out. So please, guys, if you have anything that you could possibly donate to this, co to this wonderful family in memory of this great guy, uh, you might have seen him here during Killer Instinct, uh, a couple of Killer Instinct nights when we did them. The guy was just... A lot of fun. He was always smiles. He always brought happiness to everyone. And the world has definitely lost somebody who, nothing short of an angel. So please, guys, if you have it in your hearts, if you have anything that you can, please check the link that I just posted out in the chat. Donate and let's help these guys offset the cost and you know push it wherever you are, man. We miss you. Rest in peace. All right, so. Without further ado, we're going to jump into some online Third Strike. Now, if you guys are not familiar with this game, keep in mind it is not Street Fighter 4. So, uh, a lot of people have said that it is harder than Street Fighter 4. I, I will attest, it, it's much harder. You can't get away with a lot of things. Execution is a lot harder in this game. Uh, and you're going to have to deal with a lot of characters that seem a little uh, unbalanced. For instance, everybody complains about Chun-Li. Which is one of the reasons why it's like hey, I don't want to play Third Strike. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with this character. But anyway, so Lord in this Prime 78. Congratulations, you're the first guy I get to play on stream. Uh, chat. By the way, if there's a character that you want to see, if I can play the character, I will play them for you. If you have any questions about Third Strike, if there's something cool that you saw, let me know, and I'm going to talk to you guys about it. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you, but can you let Xander know that we can't see it in Skype? Uh, all right, it's on the way. It's being fixed. All right, here we go. It's playing Fugo. I played him earlier. Oh, there we go. It's working now. Are we good now? Yeah, we're good now. Yep. Awesome. All right, so here we go. Young versus Hugo. Holy, is a, that's a big dude. Holy. Yeah, there's a reason why Hugo's so big in uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4. He was this big at third strike. Oh, that was nice. Grab it. I personally don't like any part. I just want to try again. So I uh, just mute in the galaxy and watching this. Who's that in Skype? Not me. Uh, that's alright. Oh, stop the I think it's number four. Oh, from before? That's alright. Well, guys, if you're just joining us, thank you here for joining us at FTC Live, which is the show about fighting games here at Twin Galaxies Live. It is every Friday starting at 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. He has a lot of background stuff going around. A lot of background stuff going around. Ba ba background noise. Uh, if you're wondering what you might hear, that's actually the sound of me tapping my arcade stick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you're hearing those hard taps. Oh, I thought I jumped. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, so Hugo, he got me with the Gigs Breaker. He's got the lead now. He's going to go overhead. Oh, he went low. Oh, you're dead. I need to mute my mind for these. Oh sh! Oh, why did I not? Why did I do that? 
Duke, he's not a TG employee, but he's a really good friend of ours here. He came by during a lot of the uh, Killer Instinct nights when we first had it here. And Can you please tweet your mic, please, and thank you. Whoever's making those loud noises. Ah, uh, yeah. I think someone in Skype might need to mute. There we go. God bless it. He's so bad at this game. Sorry, but what was your friend's name again that passed away? Uh, he is known as C88 Pusha T. Okay. Uh, he's a member I, of the. I'm on the You Caring website right now, and I'm just trying to find his the the, the, the thingy bobber. Okay. Um, if you scroll up a little bit in the chat, I actually posted up the link that leads directly to his to his uh website. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna go to Twitch again, and then I'll tell you to post it again. And... Yeah, not a problem. I can definitely post that for you again. All right. Hang on. I'm just gonna go to uh, Twin Glossies. Yeah. Twin. There we go. Yeah. Twin Glossies. Um. It, it's it's been rough. Um, the outpouring of support from the FGC has been phenomenal, and you know, it's just a testament to how great this guy was. I mean, I, I woke up. I, okay, I found you, so. you can post it. All right, I'm gonna repost the link here. Thank you. And you'll see it in just a second. Yep. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, I got warned by Mubot. Mubot doesn't like me, <laughs> even though I have mod powers. <laughs> Oops. Really? He warned you, huh? Well, you know, my, my mod powers haven't kicked in yet, so... <laughs> but it wow. happens. No worries. All right, so... so right now, I'm just going to run a little bit of Yoon. Yoon is the second best character in this game. For a while, he was the top character until 2007, when everyone realized Chun-Li is stupidly good. Okay, here we go. Got him on the cross-up. Okay, he high parry twice. Oh, no high parry there. I didn't do that. Oh, he's mashing. He's mashing. Okay. Wow, they they raised. Uh, is, it, is, that, is that a grand? Something like that. One comma zero nine one. Wow, they've done that much. That's that's good. I know they're asking for about five thousand yeah. dollars. So anybody who's in the chat. Yeah, five thousand. Yes. Yeah. If anybody can do it. Oh, he gave up. This guy uh, gave up, I guess. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, sorry to hear about the loss. Yeah, thank you, thank you for the support, Duke Nukem. Um, yeah, it's 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 been kind of a, a weird day for all of us in the fighting game community, and then anybody who may be, you know, even uh, just just gaming in general. It's it's never fun to hear. It's never fun to hear about someone passing away, especially someone in your community. So thank you guys for even uh, considering and taking the time to look at the link. So, uh, and, and again, if you guys have anything that you can donate, please feel free. Please help out and donate what you can. But anyway. Okay, wow, so someone don donated $50. Holy. That's pretty good. All right, so the guy we're facing in third strike right now is Rio Bakker. I think this guy just played. I don't think he wants to play because I just beat him with... With uh, you and respect the Aegis. Are you in the chat? I know you. What's up, John? Good to see you. Yeah, respect the Aegis. If you if you're looking at the Mubot, he's one of the. He's actually a guy who plays at Super Arcade. He plays Third Strike there. Um, it's really stupidly good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Very strong. Very strong player. So, uh, chat. If you guys have any character that you want to see, let me know. I will do my best to play them if I can. Right. So Ryu versus Remy. Now Remy, one of the things that makes Remy very low tier is that he has a shorter stun bar and he doesn't build meter off of his sonic booms. So it's a little harder for him to achieve meter, which he's very reliant on. It's so hard to talk and play this game at the same time. Alright, so he has got to play the keep away game. Yeah, I burned meter right there. So he's using the cold blue kick. That's that little jump kick that he does. And I'm playing at the wrong angle. Now he's got me in the corner. I get one part. I'm, I sort of got a pairing that too. Oh, uh, someone donated ten dollars. Someone's in the chat. Oh wow. Yeah, uh, Danhole. Yeah. So I should probably pay attention to this. Yeah. 
I, Daniel, I thank you very much for donating. That's very generous of you. All right, I need to focus on this match though. This guy shouldn't be winning. Cause I should parry that. Alright, he's gonna wake up super. What the day? I can't go blue. I can't parry today. Oh, you're done. Oh, why are you hitting buttons? See, okay, one of the things about this game, you cannot hit buttons incessantly. It's not like Ultra where you can hit jab and be like, ah, jab all day. You have to be very methodical about what you do. All right, I was smart. Attack that. I knew you were going to do it. Very low. Oh my god. I buried that. Yeah, see, now I got your corner. Yeah, jump out. Oh my god. I... Oh, it's not worth it. Oh, I, I messed that up so bad. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. The, the, the league guys like that. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, so if you guys are wondering what happened there. Now, Remy, the way he plays, he has to keep the, the opponent out. So the way he's going to achieve this is the way Guile keeps you out, which is Sonic Booms and Flash Kicks. He wants to slow the game down. Now, the problem with Remy is he doesn't build meter off Sonic Booms, much like Guile would in Street Fighter 2, in Street Fighter 4. So he's got to worry more about whiffing, whiffing uh, strongs and fierces for meter. And he's got to pay attention to where he where he throws everything because if he throws if he throws out a sonic boom at an unsafe range, he's going to get punished. And you know, one misstep, and he's going to eat about 30% damage and eat a lot of stun as well. And like I said before, Remy doesn't have a very long stun bar, so it's not as hard to stun him. One of the things about this game that sets it apart from all the rest is the parry system. So. To parry a move, unlike blocking where you would hold back, to guard against the move, you tap 10. Parrying, you tap forward, you tap towards the attack. And if you time it right, you'll see a blue flash, and you take no chip damage, and you're able to execute another move quicker. Like normally, if, like, if I parried Hugo's limb, you would freeze in place for about one fourth of a second. See right there? So I, I got parried, and I. Okay, so he's you gonna... are kicking butt. Uh, I'm okay at this game. Uh, so you get you can't play too crazy against Hugo because Hugo hits hard. So now so the rhinos. So he's oh I know what you're doing now. You're just gonna look for that punish. You're looking for a punish. Okay. Oh, why would you wake up? I thought I taught you not to do that. Yeah, okay. So now we've got corner game. Ken can do everything. Alright, now I don't want to be too close because then he can just... He's just trying to parry everything. Oh, that was smart. Wow, okay. I like that. I respect that. Your best is pretty good. So you gotta be able to parry. See those blue flashes that parry that Hugo's doing? Those are parries. I'm throwing too many normals. Oh wow, okay, so you would do that there. Alright, so one, two, three, so ten. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I know, I'm afraid of your throw, but congratulations. I'm getting all my meter back. You have no reason to be whiffing. I have more reason to whiff. Okay, now we're gonna just play a really lame game right now. Huh. <laughs> see, like, if. Yeah, pretty much. Woohoo! I'm over here. I will. Oh, that was smart. And I'm out of there. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, eat that. 
Yes! Okay, see, now... Now I've got him thinking that... I'm gonna slow play him. So we're gonna slow play him a little bit. If he tries to pick up the pace... Ah, see, that's a problem right there. Now he hit a move in the air. Okay, still blocking low, huh? Smart. Over here. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Good to see you. Hi, Revan. Sure. Oh, you thought I was gonna jump. Should no, I turn on the camera or something? What's that? Should I turn on the camera or something? Uh, I can't quite hear what you're saying. You might need to. Sorry, be right back. He's right asking back. If, if, if you should put the camera on. Uh, yeah, you should always have a camera on. Yeah, that's that's like a rule, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, that's, I frustrated. Oh, that was so smart. Oh, I thought you were in four. Smart. <laughs> you didn't think I would do it again. Okay, so what had happened in that match? You so, won. All right, but you notice in the first round I got bopped, right? What had yeah. happened there was I played into his game. So I was playing like he was just hitting buttons, and then boom, I get I let him parry something, and then next thing I know, I'm getting 360 thrown. The difference in the second and third round there, I slowed him down. So now he be it became a battle of well, can he get in? So I sort of played the game back. Much no, not this again. Oh. Sorry, never mind. <sighs> yes. Prismatic. The prismatic. The feed is lagging bad, apparently. I want to know. Which team right. is lagging? So let's see. Let's use Makoto. Uh, if you guys think that Street, uh, Ultra 4 Makoto is good, in this game, she's so stupid, like, it's amazing. Hi, Inoki! Good to see you! Alright, here we go. Please don't do your kids' voices somehow annoying. Oh, this guy's laggy! Oh, you're stunned. Well, I'm gonna go. I gotta go. I'm going to bed. Alright, thanks for joining us, buddy. Yep. Nice meeting you. Likewise, and you take care of yourself and have a great evening. You too, bye. Oh, wow. Oh, this guy's eating throws all day. Oh, why wouldn't you super there? Take care of yourself. Okay. That's right, it doesn't work on her. Oh my god, you're so laggy. Alright, is he gonna super here? Gotcha! Um, one of the Skypes, you might need to mute your mic. Yep. Sorry. Otherwise, that's okay. We appreciate you being here, but please make sure you mute your mic. California is questions. MGD law here. Yeah. <laughs> so quite all right. Yeah. All right. So folks, if you're just joining us, thank you for joining us here at Twin Galaxies Live for FGC Live, the show where we talk about nothing but fighting games. I'm your host, Duralath Andrew J. Landy. I'm playing my favorite fighting game of all time, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. If you guys have any questions about this game, please let me know. Talk to me in Skype or type them in the chat. Now, what I want you to do is make sure you're watching via TwinGalaxiesLive.com so you get access to all our different camera angles. And as well, if you're on TwinGalaxiesLive.com, you get access to our schedule of events. And if you look right below the video window, you'll see icons that have the Skype logo on them. Click on those icons if you have Skype and you can talk live with us. That's it, here we go. Playing Liquid Snake. Oh, uh, why would you care? Okay, so he's gonna jump and go. That doesn't work. Okay. Yep. 
Uh-oh, okay. So that's one of the things about this game. In Third Strike, you cannot just randomly throw something out. If an opponent is good, they will parry the throw. They will parry your move. Can you guy in full shirt, right? What's that? Is the Ken the guy in the full shirt, full white uniform? They want to uniform, maybe? Maybe. Oh, this guy. I just wow. jumped around. Oh, uh, you would wake up super there? God. Why would you do that there? Ugh. Do we got Brian here? He's one of the best guys, but in Taken. Well, Evil Ryu would, would be good, but they didn't want to put him in this game. This game actually canonically takes place after Street Fighter 4, which numerically makes no sense at all. But all for, right. for the people right. that sure, sure. for the people that you know wanted the classic characters, you know they you know it's easier to put make SF4 in between Street Fighters 2 and 3. So I don't know. If you're playing Pong, say best you say best fighting game ever. <laughs> I have no lag, baby. Pong is the best fighting game ever. I, I, I kind of prefer Karate Champ, to be fair. But Capcom says F E O logic. Exactly. That's that's totally true. Beating up the lower level players, I see. Shady, where's my burrito? Where's my burrito? Shogun Shady, he's actually one of our. Uh, he's he's been, he's been around for Street Fighter All Nighter, but he's been missing because he's playing an inferior game called Destiny. Sorry, I'm sorry, you know, yeah, I had to. But, uh, no, Shady, we haven't seen you in a while. Obviously, the channel agrees with me. Well, actually, yeah, well, they're agreeing with Shady. But they also agree with me. Where's my burrito? But, regardless, haven't seen you, buddy. We'll love to see you again sometime. Alright, so. Ooh, okay. I'll play Makoto Makoto back. What's up, Dikendri? Yeah, Inoki? Yes. Don't make you do a Don't make you tell her. Don't make you what? Alright, here we go. Why is the blue jump after that? You're stunned. One boy, one girl, thank you, thank Okay, here we go. Yeah, perfect. Makoto is one of the strongest characters in this game. For a very strong reason. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, you might, we, don't, we might need to use Skype users just because yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, a little too hard to uh, hear. Okay. Uh, Skype, you might be muted because it's just become a little harder to hear. So. Oh, just him? Okay. Yeah, so guys, if you are Skyping in with us, make sure that your mics are set to push to talk or mute so that they're not interrupting with the broadcast. I mean, again, we'd love to hear from you, but we want to make sure that we have no interfering noises going on. So thank you guys still for joining us as well. And again, if you have any questions about Third Strike, anything that I may be able to answer, if, you ha if you're a beginner and you want to pick up this game because you might have seen some cool stuff like the Daigo Perry, let me know and I will explain it to you. Alright, so well chain 98454. Now, I'm looking at the ping numbers, 120 milliseconds of ping, it's kind of rough. But then again, like, I play PSN. And it's just back. Dude, Vincent, you might just need to refresh your stream. Uh, a lot of people are not experiencing the same lag you are. So, uh, try that. Just try refreshing the page and see if that helps you out. Okay, here we go. Well chain 984 One of the other things about this game is that fireballs are not as useful as this game. Like, I mean, yeah, you can lock somebody down like that. Oh, that Okay, do that. And I'm out of there. Oh, you're playing random! Oh god, I'm so stupid. Jump, boy, jeez. Let's save Street Fighter 4, buddy! Let's go. 
Why? I, 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 of course I'm gonna hoard out because it's a great move. Oh, how did I mess that up? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm, I'm gonna die. Okay, see, the problem is this guy's using way too many fireballs. He doesn't really want to get in with you. He's afraid of getting afraid of getting countered. See all this? Like, he, he's not really willing to engage. Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna break the guard. Oh, and that's Barry. Oh, God. Okay, so I got a PS TV the other day, and I got Ultra to the PS now, so I can play on the PSN. It only helps the most possible to play a game. Wow, 40 frames per second? That's rough. I'm sorry. Now, see, the Kendry, I'm whoring out the Daigo Perry because in about a month, Super Arcade's going to be throwing this tournament called 37 Reloaded. Now, if you've seen the video about the Daigo Perry, note that it is 10 years since that has happened. So, Super Arcade is throwing a classic Evo tournament. There are going to be the classic Evo games, Third Strike, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Capcom vs. SNK 2, and Super Turbo. Now, there's going to be a side tournament for Street Fighter 4, but we really don't care about that. So, if you want to brush up on your knowledge of any of those games, especially Third Strike tonight, let us know. Oh, look who I came up in queue against. Dan Hole, how are you? Here we go, Dan Hole. Yes. All right. I'm just... Are you going to play Akuma? Yep, he's going to play that Goki. Oh, no, he's not going to play Goki. He's going to play Necro, Yurian, Yurian Des. Oh, no, went to, went to Akuma. Dude, just refresh the stream, dude. Just seriously, refresh the stream. You're not going to get the way with that all the time. That's going to hurt. Oh shit, you gotta be quicker than that. Yeah, you seen it from Mondo? Yeah. So hopefully I'll be there at the tournament and I'll be the one calling a couple of the matches there. Shit. I buried that! Nice, good uppercut. Hey, Kaylee Doll, what's up? Hey! Keep the G and I Kyaku! Teleport out. Oh, no teleport. Oh, nice. Just hit it. Just do it. And that's going to trade. So, Dan Hall, if I, what I did there at the end, that roundhouse, you have to be very careful if I'm standing at that range. Because that roundhouse is going to trade with your uppercut. You don't have EXs to make your uppercut invincible or anything. So, <laughs> this game is still trash. <laughs> Good to see you again, Dan Hall. I haven't talked to you in a while. So, folks, again, you're t if you're tuning in just now, if you've been tuning in with us since the beginning, thank you for joining us here at TwinGalaxiesLive.com for FGC Live, the show where we do nothing but talk about fighting games and we beat each other up. Now, my name is Duralab. I play Third Strike. This is the game you're watching right now, Street Fighter 3. Not 4, 3. Street Fighter 3, Third Strike is the best fighting game ever made. Yes! Yes! Okay, you want the run back. You want my can again. Ah, uh, I'm pretty sure you don't want to play Urian. Oh, uh, he's going to play Urian. I have the upper hand because I have the awesome controller. Kaylee Doll is referring to this arcade stick that I'm playing on. This is the Mad Cats, the first Mad Cats uh, TE that was made, Tournament Edition stick. I've had it since like, I don't know, I've had it for like four years. You know, after being away from fighting games for a month, I really want to play again. Yeah, Shady, you need to come back. All right, Dan Hole, not going to go easy on you. Uh, you should call the meter. Carry that. Ah, I missed it. Uh, a little late, a little slow on the punish there. You, sh you should be able to punish it, but then 
I never like punishing jab uppercuts with your in. Okay, can't tackle without meter. Oh! Missed the button. Nice. There you go. Oh, it's a little too early there. Oh, laggy. No, uh, Dan Holt, you can't punish. You can't punish the super with uh, the launcher. So yeah, uh, Dan Holt, if you're listening to this right now, if you block Ken's super, you can't launch it unless you parry the last hit. So in order to punish it, you can do low jab into a jab headbutt, or if you're good at the charge partitioning, which is actually one of the trials in this game, you can do standing strong into EX headbutt, which, you know, if you want to really spend the meter. Normally, I just th uh, would throw a cannon to the corner and limit where, he's wa where he wants to go. So, anyway. Yes, again, Shady, you need to start playing. Neo is in the Twin Galaxies Live account, allegedly according to D. Kendry. He's doing his thing. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're waiting right now for an opponent. This is the problem with Third Strike Online, is that unlike, like, and this is where I think SF4 got it right, is you, you can't, like, really queue up against anybody. Like, it's just literally a random queue. You're playing against random people, and they just show up. It's, like, it's random matchmaking. It's random. Oh, Neo, Neo wants to play against me. Let me get one more match in here, and then... Oh, don't play Sean. You know what? Put up. So, Neo Storm is joining us. He's jumping off of the Twin Galaxies Live account. Okay, so, Makoto's often called, considered the anti-Shoto of this game. She actually counters all the Shotos. The thing about it is, Makoto, if she gets a grab, a command grab, on her side of the screen, it can lead to a 100% stun on the Shoto character. So the Shotos have to be very careful. Here we go. Oh, you're just playing. Oh, you're and it's over. <laughs> Shady knows he. I, I have made sure Shady hates Mak hates Makoto for the rest of his life. Come on! Oh, uh, you're not gonna let me do it to you, are you? You're done. Ah! So that's the thing about Makoto. Uh, one of the thing, one of the things everyone used to say about her is, guess right twice and you win. Now that sounds really, again, random. A smart Makoto will make you fear something. Now Makoto's offense is going to revolve around her command grab. That little thing where I, where Makoto grabs a character and sort of like chokes them, like goes some chokes them and puts them down, and then you're see, able to see me combo right after that. Are you having trouble putting it in Neo? <laughs> I know. I, I totally meant that. Soggy Augie. What's up, buddy? Okay, so if you guys are wondering yeah, why Makoto is so good, I'm going to scoot over a little bit for to allow for Neo to jump in here. So, yeah, Makoto is so good because you know, that command grab, it instills fear in the opponent. Now, if you as a Makoto player land that command grab, you have the option of doing just a regular Fierce into a Dash Punch, which is you know, the standard combo with Makoto. You could tick into, you could do a tick throw, so that's where you hit a light button to put them in small amounts of block stun, and then it sort of fakes them out and then you throw them again, Thing, or uh, other things like that. Uh, Dan Hole, we might, I might do a lobby later if I'm, if uh, you know, we're pulling up to it. Uh, Neo, where did you, yeah, what is the artwork on here? Um, this is a a combo stick. That's a combo. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure where the artwork came from. I think it's just, uh, a custom made one for that event. This is this is a custom made stick for the Apex 2014 event, which was earlier in the year. Uh -huh. Um, 
there was a limited number of these. Uh -huh. uh, I happened to get my hands on it because one of the uh, people, one of the people that was running mm -hmm. the event, uh, was generous enough to give it to me. That's so. cool. Congratulations. And dude. in order for me to train in Street Fighter Ultra, uh -huh. which I have failed, That's I okay. failed him miserably. Uh, you have failed this city. <laughs> I have, but I hope to redeem myself in Street Fighter Third Strike with your expert uh, my, my, I am no lessons, I am no Senpai Duralav. I am no expert at this game, but I can teach you the beginning basics. I will get you started. But the, the way you're going to get started, like, did you ever see the movie Bloodsport? Yeah. Okay, re remember when, uh, okay, sh uh, the, uh, like, Shidoshi, uh, the, son, the son had died, and then Jean-Claude Van Damme's like, train me, train yeah. me, I can do it. Yeah. But then, like, you know, he goes through training, and it's, like, the worst ass. Yeah, thing they split his legs apart with yeah. the vines and stuff like that, yeah. and they drop balls on his chest that's and his stomach, like. Yeah, that, that's sort of how you're going to learn right now. Yeah, um, I, I'm down. I'm re ready to be broken. All right, so go ahead and hit start. Alright, so now we can play. The one of the good things about Third Strike that they got right is that, you know, sometimes when you play on th uh, 360, like, you're on the wrong, like, one player will be, like, player one, and then another player will be player two, but the sides get switched. The cool thing is, if you're on the wrong side, all you have to do is tap left or right when you Oh, do it. cool. And, yeah, so you can actually be on the proper side. So you should be, yeah, controller two. Nice. Yeah. So that was really convenient. You can re I can teach you, too. You should actually just follow what's going on here. I wish... You wish. I wish Ultra Street Fighter 4 had that option. Yeah, it would be really, really useful. Yeah, I mean, track. but then again, Street Fighter 3's Thir Third Strike is the best fighting game ever made, so it's only, it only makes sense that it has that right. ability. Now, now see, what, what's his face? Uh, Fnatic would say it's not the greatest, it's part of the greatest, the great, the great trilogy. <laughs> he, he doesn't want to admit. <laughs> because he he's a he's a diehard MVC two fan, and, you know, and MVC two is it's, it's right one there. of the greats. Oh my god, it is one of the greats. It's one of the greats, but there are some issues with. It. There are some broken issues with. Well, there, there's there's a lot of broken, and there's broken. There, there's stuff that people consider broken. Now I hit X or A. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I thought it was. Yeah, we're gonna square. We're, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the dojo. All right. I'm oh, the dojo. The dojo of Rindokan Makoto Stage. <laughs> I usually play. All right. All right, so here we go. Angry Birds is the best. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Los. All right, just get a moment to figure. You good? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go all out on you now. Oh, Revan. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can see. Okay. Open the four on a third strike. Don't pick Elena. Yes. I'll see you do that. Okay. Oof. Oh! Dash! Oh! Oh! Oh, uh, you got me, you got me, you got me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> alright, alright. No, I don't have to figure it out anymore. Oh. What? Oh! Underneath my fireball. Oh, do it. What? Oh, nice parry. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm looking for that low parry every time. There right, we go. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Oh wow! Yeah. 
That takes so much life! It does. Believe it or not, that's not even the reason why you want to use that super too with, uh, with Ryu. Use it for his EX. So you wanted to use his EX? Yeah, because he actually hits very hard with his EX moves. But right there, because I know the damage on the super... Was going to just end the match. If it didn't end, it puts you in the corner with a hard knockdown, and I have the advantage. So. Because you, I'm either going to have to chip damage or... Yeah, you're going to get chipped out, or yeah. I'm going to make you guess and wake up with something. So, so yeah. If you want to rematch that with your Lena, uh, you go ahead and hit A, and then just hit rematch, or you can go to character select. But I'll I'll keep practicing Elena. Tekken three, no, it's not still so. Revan Soul Calibur two is like Soul Calibur two and Tekken three are like part of that, along with the two D tri uh, the two D gods or right, Tekken tag. Nice, good reaction. Ooh. Was I watching TFC at all? I watched for a little bit. Oh, so I can't wake up Super Dot? Uh, you can, but you just mess it up. Uh, so, one of the things you gotta be very careful yeah. about in this game, just don't, if I'm walking right in front of you, the last thing you wanna do is hit a button. You want me to hit a button. You want me to crack so that, yeah, like if I'm right here, like I'm looking for you to hit something around so I can punish it, because I've got a good low four. Ah. Uh. So. My friend in the hoodie doesn't know Duke Nukem now. Did I see when Mike Ross kicked DJ? Interesting. Wow. I heard a button though. Yeah. Oh, I thought I dashed uppercut. Oh. 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 Uh, so you gotta be very careful. Chip. If I even have no, one, I've yeah, one uh so part of this game was also taking note of my opponent's meter. So if I'm not afraid of your if I'm using if I'm using a lot of meter against you, I wanna pay close attention to or you would want to pay close attention to how much meter has he used. Does he have a super? Does he have an EX? And then you have to apply it to the situation. So in that situation, I knew you were on tilt because you have no life left, and I've got one EX move. So we're moving back and forth. I'm trying to get you into a position to where I can just EX you, and no matter what, you can't react to it. Right. So that's my whole my whole deal is to force you into a bad spot. Right. That's the reason. That's the way I want to play that match. So, when you woke up EX, that was I couldn't like counter that, right? If, it you, was had a, if you had a super, you might have been. A, if, I think you may, had super, right? But I put I wanted you at a range where you weren't gonna think that. So part of this game is there's really no correct answer. That that's that's the beauty of this game. I, there there are, there are certain situations where. You're 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 gonna want to block, right? And that's you know again that's like the one thing I harp on every beginning player is you can block. Just, I love that just fucking hold back. It's like part of my language, guys. But block because blocking is gonna tell the op <laughs> <laughs> blocking is gonna tell the opponent, okay, this might not be working, so I have to try something different. It's boring, boring, but the only thing I hate about blocking is getting thrown because uh. I'm. Or getting thrown? Yeah. Okay, so the thing about getting thrown is that part of part of this game is that you need to know your character's throw range. Now, Lena's got a very good throw range. So does Ryu. So the idea is, one of the rule of thumbs I have about throw, uh, throw range is I look at the circle uh, that's supposed to serve as a shadow for the, for the character. And if you look at that shadow, that's usually a rough indication of where whether there is throw range or not. If, like, if the circles are touching, that's usually my, my oh. rule of thumb. The other way to know is to recognize the setup. So if I recognize that's how I've been doing it, just by experience of the setup. Yeah. And seeing how it's coming at me. Right. But the the circles, I never thought of it that yeah, way. I mean, it's like a, it's not. It's that's not awesome. It's not perfect, but it's you know pretty good science. Yeah. 
So the thing about Elena is she's got really good normals. I'm not gonna lie. Like uh, hit back roundhouse, like hold back and hit roundhouse. Okay, so that move. That's like her best move. Really? It look. It makes her airborne. It moves her back. She avoids throws. Oh. So yeah, if you did that, like let's say, like throw me into the corner, and then, oh. and then what? I, so what I'm gonna do is oh, like, wake up and throw. So throw me again in the corner, and then I'm gonna try and throw. Or like yeah, stand or yeah, stand right above me, and then I'm gonna throw. You know what I mean? Oh, I saw your hand come out, yeah, you but you throw. couldn't grab me. Exactly. That's wow. Why, that's why the move's so good. That's her. Oh. And then her other, the other normal that you need to know is her crouching medium punch. Because that's how you cancel it to all of her moves, basically. Ah. So that's that's the big one. All right. So now that you've whittled down two thirds of my life, let's go. Oh, I'm so used to Ken. Oh. That was smart. That was really smart. Did you see the dash? I saw it. You saw the dash? Yeah. Because I knew you were doing it and I, I timed it that time. There you go. Very smart. I got attention though. Fuck. I suck super Oh. Oh, nice! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Man, I'm trying it, but... Bad. I'm not I'm not good with the supers. That's alright. No, the one of the, the things you don't want to do is wake up super in this game. Unless really? You, unless you know it's gonna hit, unless you're absolutely sure it's gonna hit, you never want to wake up super. Oh, it's easy. Right there. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. The late. Oh, right I should have tried to parry that. Yeah. That was my only option. Right, because the parry. Now, think about Ryu's uh, double X fireball. Even on, even if the opponent parries it, he's completely safe. That's really. He has he has the best fireball in the game. Even if I parry it. Yeah. Even if you parry it, I mean, you could try to parry the first hit and try to do a super through it, which is I've seen Kuroda do it before, but Kuroda is like a god. If you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, Kuroda is the absolute greatest third strike player of all time. He is uh, capable with every character. And he is nine beautiful. The man's knowledge is on is un insane, but but more for the most part, Ryu gets fireball, block, parry, insane. No matter what. But the problem is you don't want to get too used to using it. That's mix up. Alright, do you say anything to DJ because y'all... Oh, oh, that's so stupid, Mike. Oh! Ah, oh, man, that time you didn't want to throw me. Nope. All the other times, I mean, you didn't want to try to trip me or oh, hit me. Okay. That yeah. time it was just block. Right, right there. So you have to weigh your options when you play this game. You want, it's you like rock, paper, scissors at that point. Very much so. <laughs> is it attack, is it defense, or is it throw? Oh, I keep missing that. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I can't parry. Oh, no. Let's see, now you're in the corner. Oh. 
Man, so that's a bad that's a bad combo for me. Yeah, so what you never want to hit a button when you're when you're waking up. Like uh, a lot of kill up players they tend to do this thing called crouch teching. Now, crouch teching it's in Ultra Four but it's it's different. So mm -hmm. like a crouch tech in Street Fighter Four you crouch block and then hit throw, right? Because then it covers if they do an attack, it right. blocks, but if it if it uh, if it, they throw it's a late tech. Right, the right. Di the difference in third strike is you're gonna down parry. It's a down parry instead of a block because you're uh. expecting you're expecting them to do a move, so it's a parry. So it's gonna try and parry the move or throw tech. Now the the problem with it in this game is because I can walk up and parry your low. Because when you crouch tech, if nothing, if I do not, absolutely nothing, you throw out a lit. Yeah, yeah. And unfortunately. If I'm expecting you to crouch tech, all I have to do is literally down parry your crouch tech, and then I get to I counter your move. And that's what you've been doing. That's what I've been trying to uh, what I've been trying to do. So that's the reason why I never I always caution against people: never hit a button on wake up unless you absolutely know the button is going to work. What's your best option on wake up? Block. But honestly. For most cases, it's going to be block. Now, if you can't block, like if you're going to get chipped out, you have to do something, right? But that means the, the opponent is in control. So now the problem is you have to you have to read the opponent and you have to base it on, well, he threw me twice. What are the odds he's going to throw me again? Mm -hmm. Or he's going to try and chip me out. Right. So and then now you're playing rock, paper, scissors yeah. at that point. Yeah. So it's this, it's this concept of a uh, thing called Yomi, where... Yomi. I, uh, yeah, so Yomi in Japanese means to read. So ah. in this case, it means read the opponent. Ah. So part of Yomi is, okay, let's say I'm going to, I block your attack mm -hmm. on one pass. So the next time, instead of you attacking, you throw. So, and I'm blocking. So the thing is, now I read you're going to throw, so I do an attack to be your throw. And then it's small, that's like, I'm simplifying it right now, but that's the, that's the idea. How do you car show you and does it only work with Ken? It only works with Ken. Yeah. Yeah. Xander Denki has entered and is now leaving the building. Because we want that the Dakota fan uh, fix. Yes. The Cody fan. Oh, I kinda waited. Yeah, to try and just time it? Yeah. But yeah, one of the last things you want to do is really hit a button on Wake Up. Unless you know the opponent's going to do something that can be stopped using that button. Oh my god, I can't super. But that's a bad chain, I mean. Yeah. Like. Oh, how do you do it? Okay, um... After this match, Neo, I'm going to go into training mode to explain something for, uh, Dan Hall Okay. Uh, yeah, Dan Hall, after this match, I'm going to show you exactly how to Kara uppercut. And why it may be necessary, and why it may not be necessary. Oh. Uh, right there, I, I got you in the corner, <laughs> so all the options, all the advantages are behind you, so. Oh, uh, gosh, that it. hurts. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? Yes. Oh no, I'm stupid. Oh. Oh! I can't super. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna hit it, go into training mode really quick yeah. to explain how car, car uppercut works. Okay, so definitely, you wanna know how to car show Ryu with, with Ken. All right, I'm gonna give you the best explanation I can. Now, Kara show you. Uh, go ahead and hit A, and then hit exit. Well, it really wouldn't matter because. Okay. So we're gonna go to training mode really quick to explain how Kara uppercut works. Now, bear with me. I'm really bad at hitting these. <coughs> Bless. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. But let's see. Who's an easy character to hit Kara uppercut on? Let's use. I will just use for you. We're always gonna be, we always beat up on poor Ryu. 
Okay. Let's see. First of all, attack damage on. That means that we put standing on. Stun off. Yeah. So, Kara uppercut. The way you want a Kara uppercut, so the normal input for an uppercut is forward, down, down, forward, then you punch, right? So, all together is. It's gonna be one fluid motion. I wish. Is there any way to pull that camera to focus on my hands? Or, yeah. Can we pull that over? Yeah. So, we're gonna pull one of the cams over. You'll be able to see my hands as I do the input. So, I can kind of show you the inputs. So, Neo. AKA Mr. Mr. TGL, one of the Icemen, as I like to call him. Just give me a sec. Yeah. To... So, so we're gonna—he's gonna, gonna re-angle the camera really quickly and uh, give that a check. So I'm gonna try and hold it here. So while we're doing that, so an uppercut, you first you have to know the the, the uppercut motion, which is you know, forward, down, down, forward, and then punch. So you got your jab, you're strong, and you're punch. There's absolutely no reason the car fish your uppercut because. Okay, so in most cases, when you want a Kara uppercut, or when you have no meter, because Kara uppercut does a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna do double uppercut for one. One thing you, you need to know against the Shotos and Makoto and Chun Li, you don't even have to Kara the, the second uppercut. So let's say you have no meter, and you want to do, and you've got the opponent in the corner. One of the things you can do is combo into an uppercut. And do a double uppercut. Now that did total 53 damage. That's actually a really good chunk. God, I'm really slow with this today. There you go, 53 damage. That did almost a fourth of Ryu's life from the get-go. Now it's also possible mid-screen. Now in order to Kara the uppercut, first you need to understand how to Kara. Now Kara what car at canceling is is you're canceling the first the first frames of a move in order to add a different property to it in this case what you're doing is extending the range of the uppercut so the way you do it is you're going to input toward down and then down forward but then before you hit before you hit the the punch button before you hit the jab to initiate the uppercut you're actually going to hit either medium or heavy kick so what you're doing is you're canceling the first few frames of animation of the me either medium, this kick, or the heavy kick, and it's going to cancel that, and it's it moves you forward. So the uppercut actually starts from a different position. So if you're looking at the side of the screen where Ken is, you'll see that this is the standard ratio of an uppercut. Okay, doesn't really move far. Now if you notice, I'm going to try and car uppercut, okay? And you'll see exactly how much farther he moves. Stuff like that. I mean, you saw me mess it up a couple times, but you you can see the difference in range there. So the idea is you have to cancel the first frames of this animation so that it moves Ken forward, and then after that button is pressed. So what you're doing here is you're gonna press you're gonna press the medium kick. I didn't like medium kick because it, you, it's I think it's just safer and it's a closer button. You're almost gonna press them in rapid succession, almost the same time. Not at the same time because it's not like you're hitting throw. Instead, you're sort of pianoing the button. So it's gonna be a one, two, one, two. So if it's done right, you'll see Ken slightly move forward and then perform the uppercut. Now, why is this useful? Again, if you have no meter, if you have no meter, it's easy to do a really damaging combo against any character that can be uh, double uppercut. For instance, let's say you just started the round and you have an opportunity to land double uppercut against Ryu. Okay, well, so let's see. I mean, I'm, again, I'm really bad at this. Good to see you guys. Take, take care, guys. I will see you. Uh, so I'm going to try and do it. I'm, again, I apologize. I'm really bad at doing double uppercut because I don't play Ken, but let's see if I can land it. So one of the ways you can land it is off of a single standing strong. Like I said, I'm bad. So you see that he's not moving forward enough, so I'm not canceling it fast enough. Or I may be doing it too fast. Yeah. Like I said, I'm really bad at this. There you go. See, right there. So normally, you wouldn't be able to do that with, with Ken against any of the Shotos normally. 
So if you try to double uppercut, it whips, right? Uh, you sometimes get an uppercut because you have bad execution like I do. But it doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work. Car canceling allows you to move forward just that tiniest bit to make sure that the, the uppercut is going to hit the, the target. Now, the cool thing is, certain characters, you don't have the Kara. For instance, let's say you're using Ken. And now, you're playing against Q. I feel sorry for the Q, because Ken usually beats Q about seven times a three. One of the cool things is that, against a character that's as big as Q, because his, because his falling hitbox is so big, you don't have to do the Kara cancel, so you can honestly just... You can honestly just do it. You can just uh, uppercut and you know, it's, it's gonna hit. Now Dan, yeah, now Dan is making a point. He's saying, I can get it to work with he heavy kick, but not medium. Here's the, the beautiful thing about it. The range on it is the same. So if it works better with heavy kick for you, do it with heavy kick. If it's better with medium kick, do it with medium kick. Now I prefer medium kick when I'm on stick because if I somehow mess up and only get that, I'm not a sitting duck if that's the case. What's up, Nate8504? Welcome. To FGC Live. We're playing Street Fighter 3 Third Strike tonight. My name is Diralath. Uh, I am the host of FGC Live, and the people at, F uh, at TGL saw fit to at least let me have one night where I got to play my favorite game. So I'm right now, Dan Hole in the chat has asked the question about how do you Kara Uppercut? Now, Kara Uppercut is Ken, he's canceling the first frames of one of these moves, either the low medium kick or the low heavy kick, and moves them forward, and then I input the uppercut already and what that's going to do is extend the range of my uppercut so we're explaining uses for that right now so let's get back to the lesson here if i'm playing against a big bodied character like you like i said you don't need sakara uppercut because his hitbox is so friggin big when he falls you don't even need to worry about canceling the upper the second uppercut because since it's so big you're in range already stuff like that another thing about q when you're fighting q Again, uh, with most characters, one of Ken's uh, basic combos is you're going to hit medium punch, heavy punch, and then do a light uppercut. One, two, three. If you're looking on one of the side cameras, I think it's... Ca uh, which camera is this? If you're looking at camera eight right now... Okay. Okay, if you're looking at the bottom... Yeah, if you guys want, you can... Yeah, you could actually click on it if you're on Twin Galaxies Live if you want to see the execution. Yeah, exactly. Make it full screen. One of the cool things uh, when you're facing Q as Ken, if you're playing as Ken, first you need to know, make sure you know that combo. So it's the medium punch, so medium punch, heavy punch, and then you input jab, up, jab uppercut. Q is so big, you can do medium punch, heavy punch, uppercut, uppercut. Wow. That's why, you know, Holy like, smokes. Not, that's why, like... 55 damage? Yeah, they did 50, 55 damage. Now, Q has oh. some of the highest defense in the game. Untaunted Q, that's how much that did. Other characters, you actually cannot Kara Uppercut unless they're in the corner. For instance, let's say you're playing against you, which is a very... <laughs> There's no way. He's, no. he's too small. Now, he's too small, so you're not going to land it mid-screen. The only way you're going to land it is in the corner. Now, are the Skype chats open? Nate, that's a really good question. What you can do, go to TwinGalaxiesLive.com and look right below the video window. There should be buttons there that have the Skype logo on them. Now, if you click on one of those buttons, if the channel is open, it's going to ask you if you want to call into our channel. Feel free to hit that button, Skype in and talk live if you have a question about Third Strike. I would love to hear it, and if it's a question I can answer, which is about 100% of any beginner or novice questions, and maybe 70% of all the advanced technical stuff that I've been learning, I would love to hear from you. And of course, I want people to understand this game because this is literally one of the greatest fighting games ever made. So it's beautiful, and a lot of people don't understand it, and it seems a little boring to people, but there's a lot that's going on. So anyway. Boring. MGE Delaw, you're using your phone? That's okay. I mean, if you can Skype in using your phone, that that's wonderful too. So the, the API works on iPhones and Android. Does it? Yeah. Sick. So. Yeah. That is uh, compliments of Neostorm. He is one of the techs here. He was also one of the Ice Men of the Infinite Crisis experience. They're currently on 
they're currently in the off season right now, so taking their time, enjoy, enjoying themselves the fall weather. So. Anyway, let's get back to the part of the lesson here. Certain characters, you can only do the car uppercut in the corner. So, like, let's say you're facing a Yoon. Somehow you got him, you've got him in the corner. I mean, hey, you might be a lucky day. You can't really double uppercut him on, on your own, right? You might be able to... Like, with most characters, you, you're actually able to double uppercut them in the corner. Yoon's falling hitbox is a little smaller. So you actually have to do the, the car cancel that you would against most of the other characters mid-screen in order to hit Yuna in the corner. I'm mm. actually surprised I really hit that the first time. 59. Yeah, and Yuna has less uh, stamina, so it's it's really useful. Wow. Now again, now you're, you're, again, you're ask, you might ask, when is this going to be useful? It is, a, it is a little bit advanced when it comes to the execution. If you have meter for super, don't bother doing the double uppercut. Like if you, I mean, if you land a reversal uppercut, I mean, you can attempt it. It's it's safe if the uppercut comes out because they're falling and they're still getting up. But if you have meter for super, you're actually better off just comboing into super because the super is going to cause a hard knockdown, so you get to force the position on the Yun, and now he has to guess. And this goes with every character. If you have meter with Ken. Don't be afraid to use it. Ken builds meter very fast. Like, I'm actually going to shut off. I'm going to shut off maximum meter. We're going to go to normal. So, this is Ken's target combo. This is how much meter it builds. So, you already got about a fourth of your bar already with Ken. Like, now <laughs> like it's actually like a third of your bar. Uh, how fast how fast it goes. So, with Ken, that's one of the beautiful things is... You can car uppercut, and it's good to have in your arsenal. But at the same time, you don't really necessarily need to rely it. Because as Ken, you're going to be building meter so fast. And as soon as you build the first meter, or are close to it, the opponent has to change the strategy. Because now, Ken has a myriad of ways that he can combo into a super. Short, short. Strong, fierce. If he gets the low forward, he can do it. He can link a low strong. Tennis. Things like that. So, with Ken, I mean, it's good to have. And a lot of Kens, I know, that can land it, will land it. I'm going to let you know right now, if you're just starting out with Ken, try and focus on the ways that he's going to get into his super. So, that's a little little tutorial on Kara Uppercut and how to do it. So, and there's another video that Nika KO, he's an East Coast player, he actually put out another tut uh, tutorial video on how to do the Kara Uppercut. So, you can look up Nika KO, N-I-C-A-K-O, <coughs> tutorial Kara Uppercut. So things like that. So anyway, again, folks, if there's anything about this game that you want me to answer, let me know. I will be more than happy to try and explain it to you as best as I can. Otherwise, we're just going to start beating each other up. Isn't that right, Neo? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. I need to learn. Yeah. Neo you can beat me up all day. Yeah. Well, while we're doing that, I need to, I need to grab a quick wow. break. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Hello hey, there. how's it going? Who might I be talking to? Oh, this is Nate. 8504. Nate 8504. Nate 8504. Welcome to Twink Out. Welcome yes, to I, I was here um, one, I can't remember, I've been here a few nights before, okay. so. Okay. Yeah. Right on. So, uh, so you're uh, tuned in right now to FGC Live, which is our fighting game segment here at Twin Galaxies yeah. Live. So that's every Friday starting at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, you guys are playing Street Fighter? Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Ah, uh, okay, alright. I thought it would look familiar because i seen the, the characters. Oh, right on, oh, man. man. Okay, so, I don't know if, Neo, you want to move in closer if this is in your way. No, it's fine. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, because the, the screen is actually this... Oh, okay. It's truncated. Oh. God, that's a big word. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I talked to, I talked to Neo before, right? Can yeah, you know, Nate, we, uh, you were here for a gauntlet. Yeah, and also, it was also, uh, yeah, and then we were talking about, uh, uh, dinosaurs and stuff like that. The show. The, yeah. The last episode. <laughs> right. And how how intense and and depressing that episode was, or something. I'm like, oh. okay. I, I I didn't get to watch. I was I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch it from the beginning because I haven't seen it in years. Oh. You know. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna watch the first season from beginning to end. So. I guess. Telebro is not on tonight? He was leaving here earlier, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, is Street Fighter Ultra better or worse? It actually depends on who you talk to. 
If you talk to an old geezer like me, I'm going to say Third Strike is way better. Uh, if you talk to some of the, the newer players in the game, they're going to say Ultra is better because it's more balanced and it's easier to get into. They still do the Street Fighter games? Oh, yeah. Because I, I know that they, they're coming out with a new Mortal Kombat game, that's for sure. Coming out with Mortal Kombat X, I think it's called. Yep. Um, at, believe it or not, Street Fighter... The release of Street Fighter 4 was kind of what respawned all the fighting games to, you know, come out of hiding. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know they have a web series called, um... Street Fighter Assassins, I think it's called? Street Fighter yeah. Assassins Fist, yes. Yes, uh, they, just, they just finished the first season. They're actually making strike. Season 2 now. right now, so we're lo really looking forward to that here. We're going to be talking about that once it comes out, Season 2. Yeah, and I mean, I never got to watch... I never watched... I know I watched the Mortal Kombat Legacy, but I never watched the Street Fighter one, but I'm probably going to have to go back and look at that, because I know it's also on Blu-ray, but I don't want to get it if I don't like it at first, you know? Yeah, the, the good thing is you can actually watch it on YouTube if you really want to watch it. It's, I mean, it's separated yeah. into about 14 parts, so... Yeah, I, I know I know how to do that, and I know the actor that plays on there, um, Mike. Oh, oh really? Mike, Mo the guy that plays uh, Ryu. Really? Uh, he, he was in um, a show called Common Rider Dragon Knight. Right, right, right. Yeah, um, with uh, Steve Lunsford and um, Matt Mullins. So they were really uh, so he's a real uh, martial artist. So oh yeah, they, out they're really perfectly. good about uh, making sure they pick guys who know how to do the moves and aren't just you know Hollywood flakes. <laughs> yeah. All right, bring in the stuck man. What the? Oh. So who's Ryu going against right now? Oh, Ryu's fighting against Elena. Got it. Oh, is she, uh, <sighs> she one of the new characters? Cause I... Well, she was introduced in this game in the Street Fighter 3 series. Uh, okay. She uses Capoeira. Capoeira. Yes. Uh. Hey, Duke Nukem, what's going on, bro? Yeah, Duralaf is here trying to teach us all how to play Third Strike. He's actually, like, what, top three in the country? No, far from it. I, uh, I took you third sure you're at... not sucking up there, Neo? <laughs> No, oh, it's true. No, Didn't I, you just take third at EVO? I took third at EVO in the side tournament, but to be fair, a lot of good players weren't there. Ah, uh, you didn't fall for it. I fell for that. Ooh, too much. Shit. Have you, you guys heard of Bat in the Sun, right? Does that sound familiar? Bat in the Sun. Oh! Yeah, he's uh, he does this thing called Super Power Beatdown. Oh, never, can't I block it. it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, he's coming out with the. Uh, uh, he's coming out with um, another uh, Super Power Beatdown in November. Okay. Or December. It's the Green Ranger versus Ryu. Green Ranger versus Ryu. That's probably something I'm gonna want. That's to... very interesting. I'm gonna want to look at that. No. Green. They, they have. That's they have. Uh, Go ahead. Sorry. No, no. I'm just thinking. That's kind of that's a super crossover there. Yeah, he uh, he does the like epic green matches. Yeah. Oh. He's, he also did uh, Scorpion versus White Ranger, and uh, Jason David Frank was uh, involved with that too. So the original White Ranger and the Green Ranger. He's also going to be heavily involved. Ah, oh, I pressed the, it too soon. Uh, he's going to be uh, <laughs> involved with Ryu. Um, versus the Green Ranger, because he's he fights him outside the suit, and then he morphs into the suit, so that's what they're going to do. So it's pretty cool that Disney Frank is actually going to be playing oh, right on. his character in there. Well, we will definitely look at it here. Yeah, I'm looking for Oh, I scene. fell for it. I don't know, I mean, so, when, you pin, when you pin so many characters against each other like that, it's like, how could you choose? It's hard. Yeah, there's a lot of characters to choose from, so I think you just... Maybe you just start spitballing and uh, start throwing darts at a board and figure out who who, uh, who it ends up on. Well, they give they, they have this they have this voting system on there where they you vote for which one you want to win, and oh, then okay. that's how they they film it and they're like, okay, then you know, it's like a prediction thing for them, and then they then it shows you how many people voted for that character to win. So uh, a lot of people, I think, a lot of people want Jason Aiden Frank to win the, uh, the, the Green Ranger to win this battle against Ryu. That was not good. So. I, I tried to combo it, yeah, and I didn't. I failed. Yeah. All right, so yeah, well, they, they will definitely be checking that out when uh, when it does come time.
Yeah. Alright, so Neo, yeah, what you were doing there. So if you notice that every round you're being pushed to the corner. You notice that? One of the things that I, I'm gonna I harp on players when, when they when they when I play them online and especially when I'm teaching them is don't be afraid to crouch block. Crouch block. So that's holding down back instead of just holding back. Because they're they're afraid to get into that range where and it, where offense uh, can be initiated. So that's one of the things. But the more you're backing up and backing up and backing up, that's when you realize your character is pinned against the corner, and that's where I want you. Now I've moved you into an unfavorable position. So part of it is being willing to make me to make me move move back and forth with you, like in a fight, like in a, in a boxing match. Uh, it's you really favorable if you know, a guy who's good at offense maneuvers his opponent to a corner because now he can't move anywhere. So now his options are limited. He's he's forced to to be defensive. He's forced to block or try to get and find a way to try to get out of the corner. Now the same thing applies here, where if I'm just backing you up and you're just trying to keep away, stay away, like I don't want I don't want to deal with you. Next thing you know, you've lost all the room behind you. Now your back's to the corner, and now you can't you can't move. Now you're forced to either just block. Gamble on a reversal in the hopes that you read me right, or look for an escape. But then again, when you escape, you want me in the corner now. So now, if you if you're able to switch the sides, you might want to try pushing me to the corner. Now, this is kind of gonna come with experience because now you need to you, know, you have just have to be familiar with the character. Right. But the idea here is positioning. So tactically, I know where all my moves are are. Are effective. I'm, I, I mean, I, I know my ranges. So the idea here is, where am I going to fight from that range, and how? What am I going to do to make sure I can not only achieve that range, but also take yours away? Mm -hmm. So it's like it's like chess. I want to control this part of the board. I'm gonna. The more parts of the board I control, the more I have room to initiate my offense, and the, and the harder it is for my opponent to escape. So right. That's. One of the things that uh, I, I teach is don't be afraid to try and slug it out. You don't want to be slugging it out, like getting in there, like dirty boxing, like close, and be hitting buttons randomly. But the idea is to know know what your moves can do. I mean, uh, you're starting to get a hang of what what hits at what range. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're able to you're able to see a dash. Yeah. So yeah. if you know my dash, uh, if you know my dash range where I dash at, then you know that if you stand at a certain range, if I dash you get a free punish. Right. And that's going to tell me I can't dash that much because if I dash, he might punish me. So I'm a little more afraid to use it as opposed to, haha, I'm free willy nilly dashing, uppercutting, whatever. Right, so, right, yeah. Yeah. Part of it is if I punish you, it's not just the damage, but mentally it tells my opponent this didn't work. Because, yeah, yeah. Because you got punished for it. It's a bad idea. You should not do this move. And then because you're taking away their options, now it's easier for you to implement your options. I and see. That's the way. So. All right, shall we? Yes. I think. Yeah, you pause. It. Here we go. Green Ranger would win free. Is too strong or stroke, whatever. <laughs> oh no! Mm. Yeah. So one of the things also about this game is there's no guarding in the air, so I have to parry everything. Into the in the air. Go for it. So when you jump, I'll explain, I'll explain off the match. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so, so slow. Oh, nice. Got me again. Oh, oh nice. no. I did not realize that. Okay. Ah, uh, you tried to parry, didn't you? No, I, I didn't. Okay. I, I just... I don't know what I did there. Okay. I think I. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes it's like, why did I. Because like... you know what it is? I, in my head, I'm thinking, 
Okay, don't use back block. Use down back block. Right. And then I think I, I might have either tried to jump it too late. Right. Or I pushed down instead of down uh, yeah, that, and I mean, back. That happens a lot. Just out of pure right. uh, like, fear. Not fear. What is it? No, well, just inexperience. It really would be kind of, you know. It's kind of like when you get scared, you mess up. Like, yeah. that's, uh, there's a word for that. Uh, Dick Henry, see, Elena's okay. Believe it or not, she's not that bad of a character. It's just the, the, the characters ranked above her just do so much better. Surprised I never saw them do a Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. That'd be an interesting concept type of thing. They had a web series about it. Oh. Well, I mean, like, the actual kind of game, I mean, it would have been, that'd be a pretty cool game, I think. It, it would be cool, but uh, you can't, it's going to be it, hard to get. It really would be, like, a, a CVS, CVS a, a CVS game, because those are two different systems. Yes. In Mortal right. Kombat, to block, you press a button. So they would actually have to change the game for either one of the, the franchises, and a lot of people would be up, up in arms whoever they change the game for. Like if they made it like Street Fighter that you push back to block, a lot of the Mortal Kombat community would be upset. Right. And oh if they God. made it so that you have to push a button to block, um, uh, all the Street Fighter guys would be upset. We would be very angry. Oh, would be makes, angry. That makes perfect sense, actually. Yeah. I mean, they tried it with Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Oh, oh. oh I thought you were going to wake up there. And not only, uh, not only is, um, you know, they're oh. different game systems, they're also in, I mean, it depends on how they would do the storyline with that, because, you know, you got to make That's sure you guys get right. storyline, because Mortal Kombat is the underworld, like, kind of the, uh, outer world, they call it, oh. and Street Fighter is more, uh, you know. Oh, have, oh, thank oh, you. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, uh, Revan122 has a very good point. Look at what happened to Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And that's 2D and 3D worlds combining. Oh. oh, I had you there. Oh. Oh. Oh, I was no. Literally, I was oh. literally waiting for you to jump right there. I know. I'm like, is he waiting for me to jump or is he just trying to get out of Fireball and he can't? No, I, I, I had, and I'm I had, think, I, I, had a I should know better. You can get out of Fireball if you want to. Mm -hmm. You're faking it. Right. Like, right there, I'm standing at a range where... If I fire, if I lull you into just sitting there, and it forces your hand to either block, so your best option is to try and advance forward. But I was looking for you to jump there because I, I realized a tendency of yours is to jump out of a situation, which is a tendency everybody has. Even yeah, I have of course. It. But I mean, if I had a projectile, it would be different. It would be different. Yeah. I mean, you might be able to fireball me, fireball war me a little bit, which you don't normally see in this game. But yeah. You know, yeah. Nether Realm, alright. Thanks, uh, Duke Nukem. Thanks for letting me know that. NRS Nether Realm Studio. Oh. Oh. Alright, so here we go. Welcome back, Xander. Did, the, uh, did you see the gentleman leaving? Greg. 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 Our Greg. The he just left. maintenance guy. Cleaning dude. The clean. I thought he said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just met him. Okay. Did you see him? Did you see him? Oh, that would have been so sick. I miss Curly Sorry. so much right now. He wanted to see you. Yeah, I'm distracted. Sorry. Stay here. <laughs> Xander comes in, completely threw a wrench into everything. But it's okay, because, you know, Prepare we love Xander. Oh, he's, I think he's over here. Xander? Oh, no, no, Gary. Oh, Gary? Okay. So, yeah, right here, I'm at, I'm going to range. You're in the corner, so you probably don't want to jump out. So you might want to try to fight your way out. But you've got to be careful that I'm not just going to block everything. Now, you fight your way out, but now you back yourself into the corner. All right, good. You cross under. Oh. 
you are afraid of getting low buried. Right, throw. Oh, I'm out. Nice. Oh, I can't what? parry that. I can't parry it. I was gonna try and be really. Romeo guns. SS call second. Kind of ruin up a few of it. Yeah, that, that is true. I mean, the updates, I mean, they tried to make it closer in because of this game. You could really just run away in. But, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so. One of the things that you'll notice about Neo uh, jumping in a lot, when you're hitting a when you hit a button in the air, you lose what's called your trip guard. Actually, I'll explain it after this match. Trip guard. Yeah, trip uh, guard. I will remember to yeah. ask about trip guard. Yeah, so I'll explain that after this match. Oh my god, you got me on the cover. Oh wow. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you gotta break him. Oh, I wanted to throw you! Alright, so see, what happened here is. What happens is with trip guard, if you. There's a small little delay when you jump in. Now, if, I'm, if I jump in. Alright, so what I want you to do is the minute I jump in. The, the minute I jump in. As soon as I'm about to land, hit a low button, like hit low forward, like, yeah, just, or hit like hit low, low short. Low short. Yeah. As soon as I jump in, like, the minute I land, hit low short. Okay. Okay. So go ahead. All right. So I'm gonna jump right. Yeah. Okay. So again. So that's trip guard, right? So if you notice, I'm able to jump in and guard it immediately. Now what I'm gonna do different? Do the same thing. I'm gonna do something different. Okay. Okay. Do the same thing. Or... So the difference here is with trip guard, if I hit a button in the air, it puts me into the state where I can't guard. I, my first action upon landing cannot be guard. Wow. So okay. I actually have to recover because I hit a button in the air. Wow. Okay. So that's the reason why sometimes when you jump in, if you hit a button in the in the air. Yeah, see there you go, trip card. The ability to block when you land from a jump. So if I hit a button in the air, I have to recover. So there's a there's a couple of frames that I have to take. Now if the opponent sees that I hit a button in the air, he's gonna take advantage of that. So that's where that's where air parrying comes in. So if I empty jump and I know that the opponent is going to hit a button, I can just empty jump and he's going to hit his button to try to punish. Right. So if he might guess super if he thinks that you know he's gonna get a free super out of it. Or, you know, then that's where Yomi again comes in. And then you just progress into, well, I did this, so he's going to do this, and blah, 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 blah. It's a bunch of gibberish, so. Right, right. But that's that. That's the reason why sometimes you'll you'll get thrown once you jump in, because you hit a button, and the opponent is on the first frame after you land, throwing you. Yeah. Because he's catching your recovery, so. So I have a question. Okay. How do you parry in the air? Okay, so when you parry in the air, it's the same as parrying on the ground. You tap forward. And I want to tap forward when I see uh, an attack coming. If you can, if you can see the attack coming, yes. But uh, more often than not, parry is sort of an anticipation. Like I'm like, you'll see me try to anticipate the parry. So what what'll happen is you'll see me do a lot. Of, like when I try to low parry, you'll see a lot of that. You'll see you'll see me kind of dance dance in front of you. Yeah. My opponent, my character bounces up and down. So if you know, if you if you're good enough. You're able to see that and you realize, oh, he's looking for a low parry after this thing. So he's gonna look for a low parry. Or if you see like an inch forward, just that little bit, like if you see an inch an inch toward, then you know, okay, he might be looking for a parry there because why would he just inch that much forward if there's no right. intent to do anything else right. afterwards? Or if they uh, they inch forward and then throw, mm -hmm. then you know, okay, he's often selecting the throw. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that. You have to pay attention to the opponent's character. And that comes with knowing your character. Because as soon as I know my character, I have no reason to see what he's doing. Because at that point, I understand, okay, he's in this position. I know where he is on the screen. 
but it's relative to where my opponent is. And now since I see my opponent, I can gauge the distance. And now, again, that's where all my options come in. And now I know what will work there. So, like with, with parrying, then I know, okay, he at this range, if he parries, he can't land, he's not going to land a super. He's not going to combo the super because, one, the limb that he could, the, the, whatever he could possibly punish with, won't reach. Won't, isn't a cancelable limb in the super, so. Right, right. Like so. Alright. Shall we? Yep. Alright, here we go. Ultimate Marvel 3 was the worst. It was fun if you like Rex. It's actually really fun, I'm not going to lie, to watch. I can't play it for crap. Good to see you, Romeo Guns. I want to see... Oh, I'm going to test your parrying right now. Want to throw fireballs? Let's parry them. There you go. <laughs> Alright, here comes red. Red fireball. There you go. That looks earlier. Alright, I ran out of meter. So. Oh man. Those slow I can't parry the slow ones. Sometimes it's, <laughs> it's honestly sometimes it's really worth it just to take that little extra chip. When you get to the advanced levels, there are certain there are certain times where I actually want you to parry a move. Like with Remy players. Oftentimes they want you to parry the sonic boom when it's close because when you're in a parry state, you, you can still get thrown. Like, ah. Because that's how you beat a parry is throw. So it's like that rock, paper, scissors. So attack, you know, straight attack. Everyone has on attack. Bro. Hey, what's going on, Dirt Left? Who, the, who be that? Is that, is that Tella? Ah, uh, be the Tella. Be the Tella. Good to see you, buddy. Ah, uh, be the Tella. You be the bro. Uh, we both bros there. Oh. Yeah. Second tag two was very good net code. Vanilla SF four had worse net code. Yeah, it did. Uh, let's see, what were we talking about again? We were rock paper scissors of parry. Oh, okay, so the rock paper scissors in this game is attack. It's defense, defense which could be block or parry, or it's throw because throw beats throw beats defense, defense beats attack, and attack beats throw. So that's the way it works. But it's not like strict rock paper scissors. That's how you do rock paper scissors on here. Oh, I suck at super. Oh, that was good. Very fortuitous for you. Oh no. Ooh, that's another thing that we gotta touch, that gotta touch on in this game. Dan Hold, good to see you. Uh, I hope my my words on Kara Uppercut were help uh, were helpful. And uh, yeah, if you later, Dan Hold. Yeah, if you uh, keep playing this, we'll play again, and we'll see how much you progress. Is Neil Storm playing against you? Yes, he is. He's learning. Oh my goodness. Now he's being elite. Oh. Um, okay. Good tech. Good. All right. Hey, this is third strike, right? Yes, it is. This is Street Fighter Three Third Strike. I remember playing this game in the arcade. If I had an arcade nearby me, I would still play it. I would still pump quarters in this game. This game is so much fun. Uh, me and my friends used to go at it, try and not use supers. Really? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Oh, oh, there. oh, oh no, I'm stupid. Oh, now. Oh, that's a good punish. Oh, oh no! I wanted to throw you, but I didn't press the right button. Well, Romeo guys, do you have Skype? What you could, if you have Skype, I mean, first visit TwinGalaxiesLive.com. Make sure you're on our team page so you get access to all our different camera angles. 
But as well, right below the video window, there are buttons that have the Skype logo on them. Click on them, and if we have one of our open channels, you are able to talk live with us. We would love to hear from you. And again, folks, if you have any questions about Third Strike, my name is Duralat. I am the host here of FGC Live, and I'm being aided tonight by Mr. Neostorm X. Yes, the Iceman himself. Wow, Duke Nukem, really? I don't know how to use Ryu. Duke mm. Nukem, do you want to jump on Xbox Live and play me in Third Strike? Hit that IGN, tell her, bro. I mean, yeah, if, if he wants to play, if he wants to test my Ryu, because I'm in, I'm in, I'm in teach, I'm in teaching mode right now. I am making sure I teach Neo Storm what to do. It's a long road, but I mean, if you really want, you really want me to see, see my Ryu go all out, then I play the unblockable super. Oh no! The Dengen Hadouken, which is, which. There used to be a command for Turtle App. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what happened to it. The either. system is down at the moment. Mm. Wait, did you seriously say the system is down? Yeah, my the, system. At the, the, home system is the system is down. What is it? You never watched Homestar Runner or Strong Bad? Okay, you never did. Sorry. Hey, uh, by the way, Duralast, uh, on the Twitch page, we could see you holding the controller. That's awesome. I respect that. There we go. There you go. Okay. Oh, what? I try to get it. I mean, you have to at that point. Yeah. Because you don't really have an escape, so. I was Watch. open, though. I could have did my super. You could have been able to, yeah. Well, that's on it. Yeah. Can you wake up super against that? Certain characters can actually wake up super right through it. Yang? Yang, uh, super 2 is a hard counter to it. So, uh, I remember me and my friends used to be able to parry those certain moves that Ryu does. So I'm going to go to character select and switch my super back to super 1. Now, again, again Duke Nukem, I mean, the challenge is out there. If you don't think I know how to use for you, I mean, you're welcome to play me in Rift Strike. I, I always hear this smacking, smacking of the lips, but never ac any action. It's right? always funny. Yeah, right now... You're talking about me? Oh, no, 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 we're talking about somebody over here. Okay, Duke Nukem. Yeah. I don't know how to use them because Ken and Ryu are the best aside from Ann Bison. You have not played me in this game, sir. So I'm not going to take your comments with much seriousness. Can you play this game online? Can you play this game online? Yes, you can. Ah. I was actually playing earlier. I've been trying to low power you. Uh -huh. I'm having issues doing it though. Like off the ground. Oh, uh, just just block. Like honestly, you're learning parry very early. Mm. I always tell people when you learn the game, parry nothing. Like, cause parry, it forces you to. If you try to learn how to parry early, it forces bad habits. Cause then you try to parry everything. I only parry when it's absolutely necessary, or if I absolutely know what's going on. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Bison is not in this game. Uh, Bison is, well, he's supposed to be dead in Street Fighter 2, but they brought him back for Street Fighter 4, so. Um, so folks, if you're just joining us, or if you've been with us for the broadcast, welcome to Twin Galaxies Live. It is FGC Live, 9 p.m. Pacific time every Friday here at Galaxy Live. I'm your host, Duralath. I play fighting games. I love fighting games. This is what we do. Arsone32. I'm playing against Neil Storm. He's he wants to learn how to play Third Strike. He's actually, and he's one of the staff members here. He was one of the members of the Infinite Crisis team that we had here. So he's always loved Third Strike, and 
wants to get better, so I am teaching him the hard way. Arso32, aka the most hypest man ever in the fighting game community. Oh, it's so bad. That's alright. Man, he parried everything I tried to do. Yeah. I mean, I turned up the heat a little bit, so. I was wondering why I got hot in here. Teach him Chun over <laughs> Elena. Yeah, Chun does beat Elena. Oh, I remember those days. Getting all sweaty, just playing video games. Hey, I can't hit... I can't hit the low forward. I'm so bad at this game. I'm not used to the stick anymore. Hey, he was in uh, Camp 4 and Camp 2, by the way. Uh, oh, not me. Sure. Sorry, um, me who? Nate, right oh. over here. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, what's your name? Nate? Nate8504. Oh, Nate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you were saying me all this time. Are you in Camp 2 or Camp 4? I think I'm in Camp 2. Okay, gotcha. So, who's in Camp 4? Oh! oh! I thought I got away, I thought I got away, I thought I got away. I was like, no, his, I his dash isn't that long. No, no, no. I'm going back where okay. it looks like. Okay, Luca, I'll see you in a bit. So, R-32. Uh, when I used to play at Arcade Infinity, we used to have two-on-two -two tournaments for Dirt Strike. Excuse me. He used to be my team partner. Like, we would always team up and and uh, play against everybody. I mean, you're, you're talking a pretty big game, Duke Nukem. I mean, you're, you're talking pretty big game if you say no one can beat you. I've laid out a challenge to this game because you think you can beat anybody in any game. <laughs> so if you think that, I'm telling you right now, you need to come on the 360 and play me. Because yeah. it's I, not like you're even like talking anything. You're asking him to just come and show it and prove it. Ken and Ryu and Bison actually cannot counter everybody. I also think you're about a, like a 12 year old kid, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I was gonna that. All right, you have this game on 360. Feel free. Oh, there you go. Your, yours was a little late, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, you went late. Yeah, you went, you went in those sets. That's okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Ooh. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, no. Oh no. Ah! Oh, I try to do my thing over it, but yeah. that was the EX. I was there was no way I can get over it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, it was a wonderful idea. If I did the EX, yeah, yeah that would have did it. So my buddy wants me to teach you why Chun is better than the way. Chun is like one of the best. She is the best. I don't people know about people this will game. quickly learn that I always play low tier. Oh, okay. That, I respect that too. But El Elena's not low tier. She's like mid tier. Mid tier. It's just I like Elena because she's sexy. Chan Lee better in this game, or the best in this game? Damn. Uh, she is the best in this game. I want to do. Hi, one. Wicked element. You guys have seen him here actually a couple times. Uh, Wicked Element. He usually hosts Rusty Perry over at Super Arcade. Jeez. It's good to see. It's good to see you, buddy. I'm really glad you joined the chat. Um, yeah. No, that's fine. No, that's. I mean, just yeah. 
Are we? Are we? Are we keeping it up? That's that's the that's. People the, are learning. This is the, your training. Oh, we're, we're we're in training mode. Okay, people, so people want to learn how to plink properly. They want to play. No, they they, they want to see how you how you parry. They, they don't if they if they if they want to see if they want to see play people playing properly. They, they shouldn't be watching me. I'm just I'm warning people right now. But oh, now you're being too modest, senpai. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Sean actually See, looks. I'm waiting for a Duke and Dura showdown. I like how the guys in the chat are actually like starting to like they want to start matching up. I can't remember who's that character who, that walks kind of funny. He has, he I think he walks on a four, I believe. Walks on a horse. Huh. Um. I'm not sure who would, who does walk on a horse. Oh, I can't overcut. I don't remember. It's been so many years since I played this game. Oh my oh, goodness! Yes, right. I could have killed you for less, but it's just, dude. I mean, my muscle memory is making me it's super. That muscle memory is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. A lot of this is just. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put you in a situation where you want, you're gonna want to low, but. Oh god, I can't walk. Nope. Because he's trying to parry. Yep. How do you practice if you only have a PS4? Uh, only oh have a PS4? Uh, there are ways that the game is on the computer. GGPO is one of them. You can right. download the... Uh, if you own a copy of the game, you can download the emulator. I mean, if you own the if you own the game, it's legal to have the, the emulator on you. The ROM. I mean, the Aren't emulator, they the starting ROM. to charge people to play online for the PS4? Are they? Uh, Wait, there's like a Play Now or something? Yeah. And it you can download older games. You can. Really? I, th I think so. Yeah. yeah. And play. Uh, Duke Nukem would love to play with us. It would be so much fun, win or lose. You guys are so effing cool. I mean, I, you know, for lack of a better term. Thank you, Duke. Uh, we'd love to play alongside you as well. So. <laughs> Uh, again, if you want to, uh, if you want to play Third Strike, let us know because that's the game for the evening. Oh, it's for two. Except Dura does want to face me in Mortal Kombat. I will never play Mortal Kombat again until Mortal Kombat 10 comes out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that game was sick. Like it was stupid, ridiculous. I thought I took that. We have Ultra on PS3 though. Unfortunately, we play on 360 here. All right, two points. I thought I thought I backed up. Whenever we do PC for Ultra, we'll see about that. Oh no! So. Yeah. See, all of those are wake up. Supers, but oh. I'm bad at square gate. Right. That's why I should play with charge characters. Uh, there are a couple good charge characters. Urian is the best charge character. Urian, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I should play you. with Urian. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually. I can. I can show you like the basic Urian's uh, stuff to do. Zender pants. Sorry, I hate you. Hello. Romeo uh, is waiting on Omega Edition. I think it comes out like December. Oh god. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
So, one of the things that you want to do, if you get me into a situation where I, I blow a move, like you saw you were you were able to block that step the EX step kick both times because I I mistimed the uh, I mistimed the combo. So when you see something like that, that's that's your cue to big combo. So with Elena, uh, actually, if you want, I'll show you some of the big the, the good punish combos I get for Elena. I think I should probably switch to playing Urian. Do you want to switch to Urian? Okay, no, that's fine. All right, uh, before you go to Urian, I'm gonna exit out real quick. I'm gonna show you some of the the basics you're gonna need to know with Urian. Okay. Omega will make a great drinking game. Yes. Omega, no. who's that uh, character all white? Character on the bottom. Uh, you're talking about this guy right here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's 12. Now 12. He's low tier. Very low tier. He's actually the second worst character in the game. Second worst, only behind, uh, only above Sean. The reason being is 12. 12's core gameplay consists of poke and run and air dash everywhere. Now the problem is it's really frustrating. Like if you if you ever play a good 12, it is the most. It's like having a root canal because they play it so well to where you can go. They go all over the place with their dives, dash, like air dash here, air dash here, tentacles, uh, blah 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 blah. You know. See, he's the character that walks on all fours. That's yeah, that's who you're talking about. Yeah, it's 12. Uh, yeah, Romeo guns. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, earlier we we gave a shout out to Pusha T. Uh, we did actually post the donation link up there. If you guys are more than, um, if you guys are willing, if you guys are able to, please donate to Pusha T's cause because uh, it's it's just it's rough to have to have to pay for our you know such a, such a sudden for such a sudden death. You know, I'm gonna try and repost the link in here. There we go. So if you guys uh, can donate, that would be awesome because yeah. I know they're 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 gonna be pulling stuff together. So, all right. So, so this is for this is for Yunia since you want to learn Yurian. Yurian's actually a really good character to learn to start off. I mean, aside from you can learn basics with him. Uh, what tier level is he? He's he's mid. He's mid. He used to be high mid. Now I think he's just like mid mid. So, yeah. So yeah, Romeo, C88, yeah. Who who's the top tiers? Ah, the top tiers. So the top character undisputed is Chun Li, because Chun Li has the best normals in the game. And then once you get super, everybody has to change their playstyle. Everybody, you have to be more careful. You can't do stuff that's like, stuff that normally is unpunishable by Chun now becomes punishable because she has her super. Second is Yun. So Chun Li is top, then Yun is next. Yun, Ganade. It's all about the Ganajin. Because with Ganajin, I have a short bar and I can get 60% damage out of that bar if I land, if I touch you the right way. If I don't, and I activate it and I activate it from across the screen, the opponent, like Chun Li, has to respect it. So no matter what, like, Yun is going to get more, more Ganajins than you know, Chun Li's going to have supers, but Chun Li just does. Her buttons are just so good as it is. And then the way the game is played now, you have to you have to be able to you you, you have to be very comfortable with the character. I'm, I'm interested in training right now. Yeah, so, I still think that 12 could beat Chun Li. 12 actually is not as bad against Chun Li as most people think. Mm. One of the things that Chun Li lacks is proper anti air game. Now, the, the players nowadays are able to space themselves so that she can anti air with just. A jab because she has the best jab in the game. It's two right. frame, a two-frame jab. It's faster than it's that's faster. ridiculous. It's, it's it's really stupid. Uh, Twelve because he, his game is so airborne. It's so you know it's always about poke hit and run, poke hit and run, poke hit and run. It can actually frustrate Chun Li long enough to you know kind of win the battle of attrition. But then just Chun Li needs to touch twelve and you know twelve dead. So. so like the Chun the is Chun Li Yan. Now it's like a three-way tie between Makoto, Dudley, and Ken. They're all solid characters. Makoto has a 100% stun, but she has a problem on wake up. She has no defense. Hey, don't forget about um, dang it, what's his name? The, the evil guy. Akuma? Kind of... Akuma? There you go. He's right below that. He's in the next tier under. So Dudley, same thing. Really strong, really strong offense. He has the best knockdown game. So if he knocks an opponent down, 
he has the best way of mixing the opponent up because he has more options than most characters. Right. Ken, he's the most solid character in the game. Like, the most balanced there is. Next tier would be like Go uh, Akuma. High, high damage, shield on normals, uh, but he takes like he takes damage like a two year old. Yeah, he takes a, he can't take a hit. Right. Yang, same deal. Takes can't really take uh take damage. Uh, can't really take damage, but he has high stun potential. Uh, he's like he's basically a, a lesser version of Yun. Like Yun without Ganesian, but he's got better EX moves. The EX slashes are like all you need. And then uh, like Goki, Yang, and then like I think Ryu is. Ryu is also, I think, high mid because uh, well, a well played Ryu just hits hard and it always you're always able to find hits. So, fun fact: twelve standing roundhouse can be punished on hit or block by Chun Li with her super two super. Yep, yeah, that is that. That's that's actually true. Uh, in fact, I think any move that's three that starts up uh, three frames that can travel should be able to beat it. So, I personally respect the people here at Twin Galaxies due to the matchups I did when they did Killer Z. Thank you, Romeo Guns. We respect you, and of course, we respect all of the crazy 88s. Thank you guys so much for all the wonderful times. Again, we are definitely uh, in mourning here over the loss of Pusha T. We are definitely going to miss him, so... Wait, what happened now? Uh, uh, well, uh, Telebro, you, you weren't here earlier, but uh, uh, earlier it was announced, uh, well, last night it, it happened at uh, Super Arcade during the run back. Uh, a fellow member of the fighting game community passed away. Uh, his, uh, he was a... Uh, Remember the Crazy 88s, which is a Killer Instinct clan, uh, C88 Pusha T. Uh, he had been here a couple times for he had been here a couple times for a lot of the Killer Instinct nets that we have here, and every time he was here, he was just nothing but positive energy, and everybody loved his presence. So it's a real, real heartbreaking loss to everybody here in the community and, he, and the people that he was able to meet here. We're gonna miss him and. We really hope that that the, the fundraiser, the donation fund that's going on, is able to not only match, you know, meet meet the need, but exceed the need. So, uh, again, folks, if you didn't catch the link, I'm gonna try and post it again because that's really all the stuff I'm gonna do tonight is spam this link. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really it's really my fault. That really, that's fine. But uh, anyway. Uh, let's get back to training. So, Neo, you're, you you want to learn. You want to learn. Uh, you're in, right? Well, now that you mentioned Dudley was in the top tier, uh -huh. is Dudley a charge character? No, or he's a strike. Uh, he's a motion character. Motion, okay. Yeah. So, you're in. You're in. What's going to help you is it's going to force you to sort of slow your play down. Yeah. Wh who's the strongest charge character? Is it Chun Li? If you can, if you consider Chun Li in this game a charge character, but yes. she's not, right? She's not technically her, a charge character. Her super requires motion. It's, every everybody super in this game is a motion super. There's no charge supers at all. Not even um, um, Remy. No, Remy's Remy's low mid, low uh, low mid tier. No, I mean his super is not charged. No, no, oh, okay. none of the supers in this game are charged supers. How about Hugo? Where does Hugo place? Hugo is low mid tier. He's mid tier, low mid tier, along with Alex and Necro, Elena, and Remy. Uh, Hugo, I honestly personally think I think he's he should be the bottom of mid, the bottom of the mid mid tier, or the top of low mid. Like if we if we're to, if we're to rank everybody, if we're to rank characters. By like the letter grades. Chum, they, yeah, they, thank you, Telebro. That's actually really helpful. That's the link, guys, for uh, the fundraiser. Uh, Chun Li is double S tier. Like that's how good she's. She's double S. Yoon is Yoon is S. Makoto Dudley and Ken are A tier. B tier would probably be Akuma, Yurian, Yang, Ryu. Mid tier is probably like Oro. Let's see, Oro. If, I want to say Ibuki, but like, like the mid tier is like everybody else except for low mid should be Alex, Hugo, Remy, Q, and then it's twelve and Sean, and then everybody else is in the middle. Wait a minute. So Alex is in low mid. Yeah. The problem with Alex is that. He's a big target for one. He's very meter reliant, and he has a really crappy super. All the supers suck balls, but 
his worst, his like his best super is super two. That's why I always, always use it. But you're not using it for the super. You're using it because you get the most EX meter out of it. He's a big target. Chun Li owns him. We're talking. Owns him. As soon as Chun Li gets close to one meter, Alex, ninety percent of Alex's offense disappears. Wow. He can't because he's he's punishable on just about everything he does. So, but the good thing is he hits really freaking hard. Like one EX move and you're eating twenty five percent. 20 to 25 percent depending on the character same thing with hugo uh if he gets in he was bottom five bottom five so yeah he yeah he, uh yeah so i put him right there because i put sean in 12 in bottom with q Remy. how about necro necro depending on who you talk to is at the mid or he's low mid i think he's actually mid because uh necro stuns so fast yeah one combo will do like 60 percent stun wow and that's like one that's one super combo so like you you land his uh, uh spin hook move and cancel into electric snake does so much stun and he's got a lot of ways to mix that he put it up so but, too bad baraka didn't make it into the game baraka ha huh. barack obama maybe yeah. oh you so you're in so part of the way you, you have to play yuri in you have to know your meter. Okay. Meter with Urian is so important because Urian, in my opinion, has the second best super in the game. Mm. Because Urian with Aegis Reflector, it turns a very mediocre character into a character with some of the best comeback potential and some of the best space controlling. So I'm gonna actually turn on full meter right now. Is oh. this the actually first time? We get to have a face-off against Evil Real against um. Damn it! What's his name? Evil Real versus Evil. Akuma. Evil Real was in Alpha series. He was in the Alpha series. He was, but there was no Akuma. Oh no! The the, the Alpha, Alpha three Alpha. had Akuma. Alpha three had Akuma yeah. and Alpha two. Actually, all of them had Akuma. Yeah, yeah, all of them. That's that. Akuma started coming out in Super Street Fighter uh, Turbo. Yeah. He, he was playable in Turbo. The Red Jessic man wants me to do an RX cover. Um, I, I'm gonna let you know, I'm, I'm only Duralath, <laughs> and uh, I don't have execution that good. That's why I play Alex actually, it's because Alex requires very little execution. So if you gotta learn Yurian, first you gotta know your buttons. So your jab is really good. Your jab is very fast. It's machine gunnable. And by machine gun, I mean you can just hit it repeatedly and look how fast it comes out. So you can mash it. Yeah. Uh, what I use, what I use jab for a lot is if the opponent's jumping in and I know they like to jump and parry. Like a lot of times, new, uh, new Urian users they try to anti or using the pierce. Right. The pierce is two hits, but it's really easy to scout. Like I can see it coming. So if I know they they are just fishing for parries in the air, I just mash jab. Because if I mash jab, they're not going to parry that all fast. If they try to keep parrying it, parrying, parrying it, then I can mix it up with a, with a low fierce and miss the timing gun. Ah. But the idea, but the idea here is to keep the opponent off guard. So right. jab, it's also good for combos too. Like you can do, you can do jab, jab, strong, stuff like that for like tackle combos. You're strong, very good move. This is the move you're going to whiff to build meter. It's also cancelable to fireball. Oh, nice. It's also cancelable. Uh, it's also cancelable to tackle. Mm. And uh, when you get to stronger levels with your charge, with your charging, you can actually do the charge partition where you break your charge up and do standing strong into EX7. Or, well, that's not standing strong, but. Whoa. So that's, that's the thing. Now, like I said, Urian is very dependent on meter. And with Yurian, you're not really going to be you know, forcing the offense. You're not going to be like right here, like you're hitting buttons, you know, like boom, dashing up. Like you're not going to be like Ryu or Ken, where you're able to pressure using your buttons. Uh, you, you still can, but one of the drawbacks of Yurian is most of his buttons have very little priority. Like, uh, like th this move, you can see how like kind of flimsy it looks. It's kind of just like a, eh, like a, I'm just gonna throw this kick out. Not, really, not very, not very strong. So you, you have to be very careful about where you place yourself with Urian. Now, the upside with Urian, he's got uh, your your in MOBA terms, great burst potential, great uh. burst potential. And one of the great things about his super, <laughs> the Aegis Reflector, right? Uh, it's not so much about how much 
damage you can get. You know, it doesn't do a lot of damage. So let's... I'm going to activate the Aegis right now, right? And you know what? We need to put the attack data, data on. So we're going to throw Ryu into the corner. And we're going to show off. And we're just going to throw an Aegis on top of him. It's not doing that much damage, right? But the idea behind the Aegis is you want to set the opponent up. So you want to put him into a situation where he's either forced, he's forced to block or he's going to eat a ton of damage. Mm. So that's where you know, you'll see you'll see people combo into the Aegis Reflector like... Let's see, that did, wow, 65. That did 65 damage just off of being able to combo into the Aegis because it locks the opponent down. And then I'm able to combo them if if they're uh, they're if, if the guard if they if they're hit by the Aegis, I'm able to combo them and do another combo. And because I spent a meter, now I'm comboing them after the super is over, so I'm actually gaining meter back. Mm. So that's that's another thing. Or if they're blocking, if they're blocking the Aegis, now I get free mix-ups on them. Can so, you can you try that? So let's see. So let's say I'm gonna actually set it to to all guard, right? To all guard. So I mean, he's gonna block no matter block everything no matter what I do, right? Yeah, I'm gonna throw him into the corner. I just like everything's easier on this side. So I'm gonna throw an Aegis, right? Mm -hmm. So there's ways to you know. So then here, when you when you throw the meter on him, oh, actually that was the wrong wrong one. That's Ex Aegis. I'll explain that later. Wow. I'll explain that one later. So you have ways to try and break the guard. So. Can you throw them? Or, or, they, or you can't because they're blocking? They are blocking, so when you're in a blocking state, you cannot be thrown. Okay. So it, it's so that if you can be thrown in a blocking state, that super would be broken, bar none. It's it, because it'd be. Because next thing I know, all I can do is throw, and then they bounce off the reflector. Oh, the that's. So that would be sick. And then your ring gets a free comp. So. Have you ever yeah. hit somebody with the reflector and then threw them? Yes. Wow. Uh, there are certain ways that. I do, you can you can mix up the reflector so a lot of times uh, Yuri let's go over Yurian's uh, Yurian's move so Yurian's first move is he's got a fireball and the fireball is actually just a regular fireball there's three variations yeah the fireball is gonna travel straight forward medium fireball is gonna go at that's like a 30 degree angle and heavy fireball goes at a 45 degree angle now you're not really going to use the medium and the fierce as much as your jab. You're not really going to use fireballs too much with Yurian. Uh, one of the cool things that Yurian can do off of a fireball, an, an anti-air fireball like the medium or the fierce one, if you're uh, you're going to get a charge buffer. In. So I'm just going to show you what, what, how much damage you can do off one air fireball. Have a good night, Durla. Uh, good night too. Night, Tola bro. Okay, so. In the in the corner. Oh my gosh! Off of one air fireball. Eighty-eight. Mm -hmm. What? Is that even real? That is real. Now, a, a lot of good players won't let you get this because they're gonna parry that fireball in the air. But if you get them into a situation where you can land that air fireball, if your charge buffering is good, you're just gonna tackle them all the way into oblivion. Now, it's not universal in all characters. Most characters, some characters have a different, uh, a, a different uh, number of tackles you have to do with different, different things. So the ta the fireball, that's always good. This is good for pressure. Also, when you're in the, when you've got them in the corner, it's also an easy way to cancel into your Aegis. So when you cancel, when you cancel your moves, you want to do one quarter circle forward with fire, uh, for fireball. So like, like his, his, to do his, uh, to do a super, you just do. Two quarter circles forward, and you hit the button. So, there you go. Or, to, so what you can do is you can actually cancel the fireball animation and throw the Aegis there. So you use the fireball as one motion of the super, and then you do another motion for the same Aegis, and so it's going to cancel the fireball motion. And there you go. And wow. That's, and that's really good when you've got them in the corner, because like let's say you've knocked down. Let's say you knock down Ryu. One of the things you can do. So now he can't jump out, and he's got the meter. So basically, he's trapped. Yeah, he's, he's trapped. Yeah, Yurian's real. Yurian's sole goal is to 
get you out of position. He wants to make you... He's, he's really dependent on getting the opponent to the corner and getting that cheap, easy damage. Mm. Yeah, so he's really heavy. So that's uses for your fireball. You're really not going to use the, the the heavy one. And EX fireball, there's really no use to it because it's slow. Uh, yeah. it's, it's two hit. I mean, you why use, is it slow? I have absolutely no clue. But it's good for it's good to set up it's good to set up things like let's you maybe know, that's why they made it slow on purpose to set up things. I mean, the only thing you can do out of it is like a, chi a chip setup, and it's really not that good. You're actually better off saving your meter for better EX because he has a lot of better EX moves. Okay, now moving on, his tackle is done. You hold back for however, I think it's, it's either 1.5 or 2 seconds, either or. And then you hit forward and kick. Now, the tackle is one of his main things you're going to combo into. You have to be very careful when you use your tackle, though, because the tackle, on hit, it's good. I mean, you got that. It's punishable. But it's punishable on block. Like, Ch Cannon Chun Li can punish you on block. Alex can EX rush you, etc., etc. Uh, one of the ways that you can get your your Aegis game on, like I showed you earlier, was comboing off of you know comboing a tackle into an Aegis, mm. so stuff like that. Uh, so short tackle, only goes so far, and then you can see the I mean, heavy tackle is going to travel all the way. Ex tackles, something I don't like using, but what uh, is it? It's not recoverable, or well, yeah. If if uh, um, I mean on hit, it's good. You're safe on hit. Uh, on block, on block, a lot of characters are able to reverse you. So uh, the only re the it only doesn't time do a lot of damage. Mm, it is 24. It's not really worth it. No. So it's, if you're gonna burn, because I, I never recommend burning that ex meter, just like that, because that's meter that's gonna take away from your having. The chances of you having another Aegis, right. which is really mo more crucial to the uh, Urian's gameplay. Uh, the only time you're really going to use that EX tackle is honestly when you do the uh, the fireball combo and you hit him with the uh, the air fireball, and then you do tackle, EX tackle, tackle, tackle. Why do you do it that way? Uh, I do it so that I, I guarantee I have more meter afterwards. Some people like to do tackle, tackle, EX tackle, tackle. So. I mean, both of them are viable, viable ways of getting a combo. I right, just gotta push him in the corner first. Oh yeah, by the way, Yuri's fireball, you can also hold it. Right, it's kind of useless to me. So, normally what I do with this combo, tackle, DX tackle, tackle. Uh, I missed the last tackle, but that's, that's the idea. Some people like to do... I mean, wow! It's it's the same either way. 86. Wait, wasn't the other one 88? Yeah, that's that's why. Well, yeah. Uh, that's why I like to tackle ex tackle tackle tackle. The, the, I think it's just easier. It does more damage though. It looked like it. I think it might have done more damage. Because the other one was 88. 88. Yeah. So, so that's the only re the only opportunity when you're gonna use your your ex tackle really. I mean, you could also use it to end the round if you really need that extra damage. And you can, you know, close out the round with the EX tackle, it's worth it. But other than that, I usually just reserve it for if I really land those corner setups. Ah. Uh, Urian's headbutt is done with charging down and then hitting up and punch. Now you're airborne, so you're going to avoid any lows that happen. Uh, light is going to go that Going to go short. Heavy, uh, medium is going to go a little further. Medium is going to go a little further. And heavy's gonna go for, uh, the hardest, and then EX is a faster one. So you're actually gonna use this a little more. You, you might end up using EX headbutt more often for combos. Uh, the good thing about it is when you use Urian's launcher move, the the low uh, low low pierce, you can combo that into a headbutt. Ah. So you can combo into medium headbutt, EX headbutt. And if you combo into EX headbutt, get a tackle off it. Or, nice. with the launcher, the tackle. Oh, nice. Now, the tackle, launcher into tackle, that's his most basic, you know, basic amount of damage. That's also how you start the unblockable, but I'm not going to teach you the unblockable yet, because I think that's the one thing that Urian's 
trying to focus on too early is how do how do I I just want to do the unblockable. Which is the way I don't I, even know what that is. Uh, so the unblockable with the Aegis Reflector. Uh, I'll explain that later. It's, okay. it's definitely not worth learning. Right is now. it the one where you shoot out two reflectors? Uh, no, it's only one. Oh, okay. Dura Jessica, I'll show the unblockable in a second. I mean, again, I'm gonna mess it up like I usually do, but uh, last move you need to know. Last move of Urian is the knee drop. Destroy. Personally, there's really no. Uh, the only reason you're gonna use uh, only you're only gonna use the, the the knee drop for the corner unblockable combos. Destroy. Yeah, Urian can actually break your guard in the corner when he's got the Aegis out. Other, uh, you can also use it to Destroy. escape the corner. Like, let's say I'm right here, right? And uh, Ryu backs up just a little bit, and I know he's gonna hit a move. Like, he's gonna hit a low. If I time it right, Destroy. I'm out of the corner. Ah. So you're gonna use that roundhouse knee drop to get out of the corner. EX knee drop, it holds Destroy. on the opponent, does two hits. Not really worth it though. I mean, good for, you know, punishing fireballs per se, but I think there are better ways to punish fireballs, so. No. No, why? Well, some. Oh wow, okay. So, oh, you're just being a troll, you don't have to? Well, I mean, it looks fine on broadcast. Yeah. When will I play Fish Persona 4? Actually, whenever I get money to get a copy. Persona 4! Oh, it looks, it looks, really it looks amazing. It looks very good. I'll actually get Persona 4 when you learn how to spell my name right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> just saying. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so, uh, so basic combos with Urian. Uh, first of all, you, again, you know his buttons. So jab, jab is very good. Strong is your main button. You're going to whip. That's what I chain everything. Yeah, yeah. You, you wanna, you can lead off of your strong. Strong is actually got fairly good priority. It's also good anti-air. Uh, fierce. This is one of my favorite moves for your end. Chop. Wow, the chop. Okay. Is that out? Is that like overhead? Uh, no. So they can be blocking down. They can be blocking down and will hit, but the good thing about it is it can beat a lot of other moves. So this is one of his main flip teachers. Like when I'm when I'm walking around, when I'm walking there and I wanna fake if I fake them into throwing, and I chop them. It's a ah. it's a very fast normal and it builds meter very well. What what if the other character does uh he's playing for you and he does a low forward? Will it, I beat it? Uh no. Wow. Usually the low forwards at the wrong range, I can beat it. Wow. But the Ryu should never be putting it at the wrong range. Like, I, yeah, you can hit, you can hit crushing characters with it. But, you know, it's faster, so, yeah. Um, a little short, stand short, not really worth it, not really worth it, not a very good move. Looks like he tried to be uh, Sagat, but couldn't make it. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, he doesn't have the full extension. Right. Uh, standing medium kick. Another like poking tool, but it's very flimsy. It's almost punish. It's it's pretty punishable. I never really use it. There are certain things that I can't punish except with that move because it reaches very far. Right. So it's very pitter patter damage. Okay. Uh, standing roundhouse. This is a move you need to know. Standing roundhouse. Uh, notice where I'm. Notice where I am. Right. I'm gonna hit the button. You notice that it moves me back. Right. It has like a recoil to it. Yeah. A pushback. Right. So I'm at the like, perfect range where it doesn't hit. But you notice that. You notice, remember how I told you about the circle? And now, like, that's where he's throwable? Yeah. See, so you don't notice the circle moves back. So this move is like Elena's back roundhouse, where if I hit this move, I'm doing it to beta throw. Oh, so look at that. You can, you're getting closer. Yeah. Okay. I move away, and then I move back in. So it's oh, actually it moves wow! Me away. So it, it basically pushes you. Well, it, it it like it, you're out of range of a lot of attacks when you do that move, mm -hmm. and then you're in. Right. Yeah. So you're right. Yeah. So so what I want to do with that move is if I think the opponent, if I want to test my opponent, uh, if they're gonna throw, or if I just want to punish their throw with something simple, I can hit this. It moves the sprite slightly back, so that the throw whiffs, and then they get hit by the freaking heel. So, uh, so th those are the standing moves. Crouch jab, same deal. You can use it for a couple of resets, which I'm not going to go into because that's advanced stuff. Crouch strong, it advances him. Not really good damage. Not very good move. Crouching fierce. 
this is where your offense starts. Crouching Fierce launches the opponent, and that's how you get are able to follow up. Now, when you hit Crouching Fierce, you just want to keep holding down, or down back, right? Because depending on the situation, you're either going to headbutt, or you can go to attack. Mm. So there are, th there are things like that. So Crouching Fierce is a lot of your, your offense there. You have to be very careful, though, because on block, if the opponent blocks your Crouching Fierce, you are very punishable. Oh, no. Extremely punishable. B-Tran, Vessels, what's up, dude? Good to see you. b a very strong player on uh, Xbox 360. If I jump on 360 later, maybe I'll catch you online. I'm just explaining Urian basics to Neostorm here. Uh, so Crouch Fierce. So I don't want to use Crouch Fierce unless I know it's going to be good. Right. Because mm -hmm. it'll leave you wide open. It'll leave you wide open. Like Ken can low forward super you. Chun can low forward super you. Alex can EX rush you. Yang can just low forward EX slash you. Yeah. So at what point do I use it? Uh, if you get a, a moment where like, if you get a moment where the opponent is punishable by it, like let's say Ryu does a fierce uppercut, that's a point where you want to hit that. So that's like my ultimate combo starter. Right. That's gonna start. That's gonna start. So where I re like, if you did an EX Ryu kick, yeah. and I blocked it. Blocks you. Yeah. Then just launch him and let the fun begin. Uh, oh man! Because then okay. now you now you get now you're open up to like all the combos, and by that time, hopefully, if you don't have Aegis, you just tackle them, because then you, you're pushing them towards the corner, and you're getting meter for it. Right. So it's like the ultimate. You're, it's the ultimate. You're stupid. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, crouch short is a pretty good move. Good tick move. You can actually combo into tackle with it. Well, oh, wow. Let's see. Wow. I mean, okay. It's close, so it, when you get the, those corner games going, you can do you can do stand in the tackle, or you can do lower the tackle. Like that. Uh, low forward is a zoning tool. I use it to kind of get pitter patter damage and sort of kind of push the opponent back and forth. Low roundhouse is a sweep. It's a very slow sweep, so try not to use it. Uh, other than that, the other moves that he has are, are the, if you're holding toward the opponent, if you have, if you have, the, if you're pushing the opponent towards the corner, let's say you're pushing them towards the corner, right? Mm -hmm. And they're not quite in the corner yet, but they're almost there. You can do launcher, tackle, and then do toward strong. So toward strong. Forward, so if I go toward strong, he does like an anti-air? Yeah, right there. So that's toward strong. You notice right here, and he moves forward, and he hits that. He put his fist is up. It's called it works diagonal. Uh, toward fierce is also uh, that's his overhead. Oh, okay. So that's that big one. And when you're that looks like it does damage. It does a lot of damage, wow. and, when you, and you're gonna use a lot of that when you're when you've got the opponent locked down at Aegis. Mm. Uh, toward, well, toward toward short the same thing. Toward full, uh, toward medium kick. You need to know this move because, oh god, the charging, that's toward medium kick. Wow, right. that looks pretty good. You're, you need to know that move for the unblockables, but for now, you're not, you're not going to need it. Toward, there's no toward roundhouse, so that's it. So yeah, a lot of the Urian stuff is really just getting used to the character, again, just getting used to how he moves, what he can do. Getting the basic combos like launcher, it's immediate headbutt, or launcher, it's immediate tackle. And then from there, the good thing about him is he's got a very good dash. Like, that's his back dash, that's his forward dash. Mm. He's very fast, so. Well, that's ba that's basic Yuri in, in a nutshell. Okay. Uh, you're, you're just gonna use a lot of limbs, hope, get the opponent into a situation where he's frustrated, make him make a mistake, and then launch, it, launch him into the air, make him pay. Make him pay. Yeah. So that's basic Urian. And then probably for the next time we do uh, Third Strike, I'll, I'll elaborate more into Urian. Yeah, like the uh, unblockables and right. all that other funny stuff. I need, I actually need to play with Urian. Yeah. Because it looks like there's a lot. Oh, he takes Especially when you start talking about the fireball mm -hmm. positioning. Right. Um, and the super. Right. Like, yeah, it's, it's all about... That's going to take me a lot of time to get yeah. used to. Like, I'll tell you right now, I started playing Urian. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm an Alex main. And I started playing Urian in 
I started playing Urien in 2007. Is it Tyrants? No, yeah, it's not. It's Aegis, but for Tyrants, uh, an okay super to combo into. I mean, off of a successful tackle, you can just... And I've seen it done, do a lot of damage. It does. It hits hard. So if, I, if I'm going to punish somebody, do I want to start off with the low fears into this? No. Uh, no, because uh, the thing is, Tyrant Slaughter is a ground. It's a ground super. So if you launch into it, they'll juggle so you won't get all the damage. Oh, so I just want to go into it. Yeah. I don't want to start with like a forward. Uh, I mean a strong. Strong could work, but yeah. Gentleman Gamer says, I forgot the link, but the Pusha T funeral fundraiser. Over 6K? I respect that. Wow. The goal is 7k to pay for the entire funeral. I'm this, very happy about that. That uh, that makes me so happy. Everybody's guys. really, really ha really has their heart. Well, you know, it's into it's, it. it. It's it's a testament to how cool this guy was, and you know, it j just the, the the pouring of support. This community supports yeah. its own, and I'm Man. really I'm really happy to be a part of this community. To, hear, to see stuff like this happen where everybody pitches in, everybody you can pitch in, pitches in, pitches in, to make sure that everyone's taken care of. So, okay. yeah. Let's see. So, do you know your buttons? So, hold on, let me just make sure I got a group. Wait, wait, wait. I'm okay. not gonna do anything. Okay. So, there's your jab. So there is like some record, like I have, I, mean, I, I can't press it too fast. Yeah, but I mean, the, that's the idea is just, you can, you can machine gun it. I mean, I just jab it, I just mash it, and literally I only use it for chaining into, I use it for anti-air a lot, so. Yeah, the exa exactly what I'm doing, I mean. Well, Pusha, Pusha supported the game, and that positivity really permeated everyone else. Orbital Ops, Pusha T, he's a member of the Crazy 88s. He played Killer Instinct, you saw him a couple times here at the Galaxies. Sadly, he is no longer with us, but he was one of the guys who really spearheaded getting Killer Instinct on the map, so. Alright, you got your, you got your job? You feeling it out? Wait. No, this was. Yep. And. So oh, and his thing that he goes in the air with the knees. When, when do you like to use that? So this one. So the the knee drop. Uh, the knee drop is very situation dependent. Again, so I'll use the roundhouse one. If I'm in the corner. And if I see you want to get out of the corner, of the corner, I'll, I'll get out of it. I actually also use the short one, so I use the short one as sort of like a die kick. Like you'll see, you'll see characters like Yun, and they'll do that. They'll die kick right in front of the opponent, and the opponent will flinch because they want to try and parry the die kick. But then Yun didn't hit them, and then now he gets to throw them, right, or he gets to, yeah, he's got the mix-up. Yeah. So the idea I use with Durian sometimes is I knee drop right in front of them. They try to parry it. If they get a parry, it hits so low that Urien doesn't bounce out of the parry. That you know he just lands low enough that it's it's all it's all neutral. Or he lands shallow, they parry, and I get a free throw. Or if I know they're gonna do something else, I can like hit fierce or strong or you know stuff mm. like that. So and then the the medium knee drop is for unblockable setups, but we're gonna cover that in another okay. time. Okay. So. All right. Well, this round's almost over, so yeah, let's draw it. Okay. Yeah. So. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. Hi. Yeah, orbital. You have third strike. It's a lot of fun. Ah, the taunt. Yes. What does his taunt do? Uh, his taunt, I believe, gives an attack bonus. Does it hit the character if I hit, do it close to you? It does. It, it does actually do. Da uh, doesn't do damage to the character, but it's also. How do I win? I think you have more meter. That's why. But anyway, uh, the taunt it forces you to uh, stand, right, stand nearby me. Oh, sorry. It's all right. So I'm gonna taunt you. This is what happens when you stand when you stand block a taunt. You get knocked down. Oh wow! Crouch block it. Okay, you can block it there. But the idea behind the taunt. What if I block back? Yeah, if you block, if you're just stand blocking like that. Oh, it you so you it'll trip you. Yeah, it trips you. It does no damage, but it trips you. 
I, I have damage on me. What do you do? Oh, you it does. Do, it does chip damage. It does one point of damage then. But the idea behind that is for the when you set up your Aegis, when you when you do the Aegis and you you know the opponent can get chipped out. So I'm gonna launch right here. So what are? Okay, I'm gonna activate. All right. So the idea is. When I do the Aegis on you, and it's like, a, uh, like if the Aegis completely hits, it can chip you out. Now you can actually parry out of an Aegis. Like the Aegis, Aegis is like you parry. Okay. So what this does, it causes a situation where the opponent it cannot escape at all. There's absolutely no escape. If Urian has a chip set up going, unless the opponent has a super that can get out of the Aegis, there's absolutely no way. So if if they're blocking the Aegis. Uh -huh. Can I do my overhead attack? Yeah. Yes. That's you, what that's what I want to do. Yeah, you want to be mixing up overhead. You want to have some up lows, low short. You also have that the universal overhead. Good night, Jury Jessic. Night, Jury Jessic. So you want to you want to be doing that. So you, you have to be mixing up highs and lows in order to break the opponent's guard. Right. That's the idea. So when when it comes to a chip setup with with Urian, where you you get him to a point where if he blocks the Aegis, he's going to die. If he tries to guess high low, he's going to die. So he might try to parry. What this does is it forces him to, when you taunt, it forces the opponent to block low. Mm -hmm. Because if they if they block high, or if they're trying to parry high, they're getting hit low at the same time as the, ah. as the Aegis. So as a result, they're getting hit from like multiple angles at once. It's in, in a, in, the only way to escape it is to have a super that escapes Aegis or mm. Akuma's teleport. So, other than that, that's a combo you're gonna need to know in the corner. Yeah. That's like, yeah, see what I mean about that move? There's a lot of. There's a lot. There's a lot of stun. Look how much stun that did. It's 20%. Wow. Yeah. So, go ahead and try to launch your combo on me. Oops. So there's a rhythm to it. There you go. Launch your combo right there. Is that queued up when I do the headbutt? Um, when you do the... What, what do you mean? So I launch you, uh -huh. and during the launch, I'm, I release and press... No, no, no. Don't release. I have to time it. You have to time it. So as soon as... So as soon as the, the elbow recovers, that's when you do the headbutt. Okay. And the good thing is, because you're already holding down because of the, the elbow, you already have your charge. Mm. And the good thing is, when you do the charge, when you charge, you should be holding down back at all times. So you guys can see the stick. So it's in neutral. I'm going to be holding down back. Down back. So that's going to cover both a horizontal and a vertical charge. Mm. So I can choose whether I want to do headbutt or I tackle. That's that's the way you want to be charging at all times. Is I use that I use that so that and so that I can cover both the charges. And the other thing is, you notice I'm not moving anywhere, so right. I'm not moving back. So I can charge. You see me moving forward, and then I can you know, then, and then I can keep charging. I can tackle. I have headbutt. I have knee drop. Which hits overhead. But it, yeah, so go ahead and try and lock combo. Launch combo again. And it takes time to get used to it. There you go. Try doing medium tackle. Sorry, almost there. A little later, actually. Oh, no, no. Medium tackles with kicks. Oh, yep. no wonder. Okay. Good night, Nate. Thanks for joining us, guys. Alright, no problem. Later. Take care, Nate. Yeah, dude. Later. See you tonight. I'm gonna teach. Have a good night, sir. I, I'm gonna teach everybody I can about third strike. There you go. Yeah. Oh, all right. Now it's working. Yeah. Ha! Ah, now it's working. Yeah. So. Because you said medium, I'm thinking oh, strong, oh, punch. strong punch. I don't know okay. why. It, okay, forward kick. Forward yeah, forward kick. So yeah. So the, the. So can you use that again? Oh, I did it too early. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. Too early. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you you can really wait on it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it gives you a lot of time to see did did it hit. 
Can can I? Oh, but you said that won't work. Which one? If I do this and then if you do that and, and then do my super, it's not a good idea. No, not a good, not a very good idea. So what you want to do is you're actually gonna cancel. Should I do that? Should I go like this? Uh, you you can, but you're you're. You're not getting the maximum, the maximum of yeah. damage from it. Because yes. it, it it lowers the damage the more combo hits you have, right? Right, but you're, uh, the problem with doing that is it like, uh, I'll show you. So when you do that, you don't get much damage out of it. That's as much damage. However, if you do tackle afterwards, you can still do it in the corner oh, wow. and you get more damage and you put them into a situation where they're bouncing out of the, the strong so the reset and that's wait like wait can't, let me try something well, you, I'm almost dead, so yeah ah oh, you're dead well you know what I'll do is we'll, we should just play like training uh, uh, yeah, and just beat yeah. beat each other to bloody popes okay cause I'm thinking uh, I wanna try launching you uh -huh. doing medium tackle uh -huh. into standing a uh, toward strong punch, uh -huh. and then that'll put you into a position where you're gonna land on your feet. Right. And then once you land on your feet, throw you. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually like a, that's like people are thinking block. Exactly. And I I fake them into throwing them. All right, hold on. I think I picked the wrong one. Sorry. I'm so used to parry training. That's why. Okay. So. Blah 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 blah. blah. So I gotta go through single player to do this. So you want to try Urien. Good night, gentlemen. Uh, good night, Romeo. Got to get your son tomorrow. Night, Romeo. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, there we go. Start off. Options medium. Attack that. Okay, you should be able to play. All right, so, so yeah. if I have you in the corner, if, if you have me in the corner, yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. oh. oh, so you can literally just walk up. Nope, that was wrong. Sorry. All right, watch. Too late. Too late. Ah. So you gotta, you gotta learn. You, you'll have to walk up a little bit for that because he still has. When the opponent lands, the hmm. opponent lands, they still have to recover. That's another one there. You can jab. Oops. Too late. Yep. Not too early. See, I have a habit with these sticks that I can't figure out where the center is. Oh, uh, okay. You, yeah, you walk the throw. You're gonna, you're gonna throw it a little later because you're throwing a little early. That's why you're seeing that throw with it. Okay, so I have to wait like this a one frame later. Yeah, because well, he has to land first. Yeah. And then you can also, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you the other, oh, the other. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, so you can throw, or I'll show you another one that you can do. Oh, I'll show you another one you can do. You can do. Cool. Uh, launcher. Cool. And if you think they caught on the throw, you back up just a little bit. Longer. Whoa! No, yeah. that's that's nasty. Yeah. So that that one. Let, let me try that. Yeah. Wait. Let me get you full health. Yeah. yeah so All right. And then and then they got up. Oh. Launch. Yeah, so uh, That is so, so nasty. So yeah, so what you do is you, you get them to think that you're gonna throw. So you throw them. So the next time you get them. <laughs> um, stop, uh, so. I mean just jab me. There you go. Good enough. That's that would be all. So you throw, right? So there's there's one. Launcher, tackle. Four. So yeah, you can like walk backwards to bait the throw, and then you launch them again. Whoa, was that a combo? Which one? Look. 
Wait. No, that's not. I hit him before. Uh, it might have been stun. A stun. It's a stun. Uh, certain combos. Uh, I'll explain the stun here next time. But yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, because uh, the, the strong puts him in a reset, a uh, reset state, so a normal's not gonna hit again. So, uh, another thing you can do. Uh, corner. Let's see. What what's other nifty corner stuff you can do? Let me see how much damage my super does. Okay. It's with kick or punch. Punch. So. Oh, not, that wasn't the one. I was thinking the other one that tackles you. Oh, the tackles? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I have a sense of the reflector. That's fine. Because, honestly, there's no reason to learn one or two. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, so what's the other one you wanted to show me? I'm trying to remember what the other corner the other corner makes it sort of. No, not that. It's... Right. Actually, I could show you... I could show you the corner unblockable. Oh, so if, when you got stunned... Uh -huh. That's why I can hit That's you again. Yeah, so one of the things about this game is that there's all the moves in this game are designated by points. So certain moves do zero points because they don't juggle. Certain moves do one, do one point on the juggle meter. Certain moves do two. Uh, it's to prevent against uh, prevent against uh, infinites. So that's the way this game prevents prevented infinites is that. Instead of you know, allowing you to uppercut to oblivion, like let's say you got got them in the corner with Ken, you can't just keep uppercutting, uppercutting, but undercutting. So every move is assigned a point value, and you can do moves up to a certain point value to where you can, you know, that's that's how your combos are formed. So Ken, you know, he can do two uppercuts, but it it uh, the points max out at six. Uh, the Kenry also says you can go universal overhead, which is another thing. So universal this. Oh no, that's, no, no that's, this. That's, that's command over. Right. Yeah, that one. So I do that launcher combo. So do the combo again. No, I didn't want. Oh to no, not not uh, not overhead after the launcher. But uh, do it to do the tackle. Yeah, that was cool. That actually worked. All right, the tackle. So All do right. the tackle, do the launcher, and the tackle, and the torch strong. That? Oh, no, 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 do the torch strong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oops. That's all right. Oh, I'm too late on it. <laughs> That's all right. No, then, I'm thinking it out. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's a lot of things that you can do that you can mess with after that reset. One of the main things you're actually going to do, I'll show you right here, is really just throw an Aegis. Oh, wow. Because the super will actually, if you do it early enough, the super actually will hit it, will hit in the reset state. So you get hit by it. Or if you do it just later, they land and they're in an Aegis situation. So, watch this. So, alright. Uh, okay. Let me look at the again. So now, if I do it later, they land in the Aegis as opposed to being, uh, as opposed to the, the Aegis popping them, popping them up out of the reset situation. So there's a lot of really cool ways that Yuri can put, uh, control the corner. Just because the mirror, because of the mirror. Now, do you want me to explain the unblockable to you really quick, or...? Well, let me try that combo once with the mirror. Let's okay. see if I can get it. Uh -huh. That's alright. Yeah, I didn't... Hey, you're learning stuff that, you know... I didn't get... I never had the chance to really learn early on, so... I'm bad with super fireballs on That's okay. Uh, try doing, when you do it, just do a fireball into the Aegis. So do one, two. So you'll do, so when you do Aegis, so just do. Oh, so. There you go. Okay. Oh, it reflects fireballs. Yeah, so that's the reason why the other reflector works that way. So, yeah, so bring them to the corner. Alright, let me try that. Yeah. 
we can map it out. Let's see. There you go. You got it early. You got it. Oh, early. I did it early that time. So it did that. So it did. Oh that. wow, that that looks scary. It is. And then when they're in the Aegis, if you know. Can I can I pop them up like this and when they're getting hit, if they what? All right, go hold on. We gotta try that. Do the Aegis combo again. Bless you. Bless. You. <laughs> so, when I do that reset, right? Yeah. And you get caught in the Aegis again. So you're able to when when. If I have two Aegises, let's say, can I do both of them? I wouldn't recommend it, but oh, okay. I wouldn't recommend it, but yeah, you can. The reason why you don't want to do Aegis, double Aegis, is that. Uh, How did I get it up there? You hit, you did two buttons, that's why. Oh, okay. That's the Aegis I didn't tell you about. Yet. You don't need to know about it. You just hit. You didn't know, okay, so D. Kendrick says, you know, I didn't know Aegis was fucking a fucking fireball until after it was coming in for a month. Yeah! Fun fact, it will not reflect Dungeon Hadoken because they're both made of electricity. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oops. Alright. Oops, I'm really dropping it. That's alright. It takes time to get the muscle memory. Got a lore over there. Yeah, so you can still. Wow. Yeah, so the idea of breaking their guard when they're in Aegis is to get the next combo up. So that's why you want to be mixing up the overheads, the universal overheads, and the low short and the low low medium kick, so that you can get them where they're not where they're not blocking. So folks, if you're just a bit uh, watching this, you're watching Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I think it's one of the greatest fighting games ever. Uh, and uh, you are learning a little bit of Yuri in it. I am Duralath, I'm the host of FPC Live. This game happens here at 9pm every Friday. I'm teaching Neo Skull Max how to play a little bit of Street Fighter 3. He has told me he wants to learn Yuri in, so I'm going over a couple of the basics, some of the fun stuff that you can do now with Yuri in the corner. Beatran, if you go to EVO next year, we're hanging out definitely, and I hope we get to play in another side tournament. That was awesome. Thanks for guys at Capsule for that, so. Street Fighter Physics, yes indeed. So what do you think, in these last 13 minutes, should I go online and see who else I can find left? Who's left before we go to Wait, break? look at this combo. Oh, uh, which combo? What do we got? Oh, I thought I had it. No. Oh, uh, a double launch combo? Yeah, I can actually do it against Hugo. I'm trying to do the... Oh, I did, I did this and it... And then into this. It might have been stun because I saw you do it. I saw stun earlier. So. It might have been stun. Yeah. There's some really cool things that you can do with stun. So you know how I was mentioning that each move has a certain point value, and the point value determines how many how many times you can use it in a combo before uh, you know like, before the combo will just end and the opponent will just drop out. Right. When the opponent is stunned, the meter resets. When the opponent is hit by a super, the meter resets. So 
That's why in some of, some of the combo videos you see, like, they'll do a super and it'll hit them out of it. Like, you, like combos that will normally end because they got hit by a super at some point. The counter gets reset. So, but that's just... So, I, that, keeping that in mind, I'll know when to... Yeah. When it's going to reset and try to avoid doing certain things if I don't want it to reset. Right. And the good thing uh, about this game is that unlike Street Fighter 4, when you stun the opponent in Street Fighter 4, you can't damage them any further. Like, once the stun is there, it's there. You're done. Ah. But in this game, when you stun an opponent, you can still hit them and keep hitting them and keep hitting them for, uh, you know, not an indefinite amount of time, but there are certain things that you, you just keep, certain ways you just keep juggling them. And you can still hit them after the stun, so... Yeah. We gotta have a little under 10 minutes left before we go to commercial break, guys. Does anybody oh. want to get in? I, was, I don't know. Does B Tran wanna wanna get busy? <laughs> I don't even know if I can handle B Tran right now. No? I'm so tired, I'm so tired as it is. <laughs> but I do want to thank everybody for joining in and at least taking the time to watch a little bit of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Again, my name is Duralath. This is my favorite game of all time. So uh Best fighting game ever made. One of them. I'm gonna say one of them. I'm gonna say the best because, fighting game. Because, ever because made. I, I can't Period. say it's the best because MVC2 and Capcom versus SNK2, they also have places in my heart. That's why I'm like. They're great. They're so good. I think they're great. They're, so, they're great. So for the last couple minutes, I'm, we're going we're gonna to scout online and see who we can find. And we find B Tran. Oh, gosh. B Tran. I'm, I'm going to get bopped so hard. This oh, guy's, no. This kid's really good. I'm going to get bopped. Uh, he's very strong. I believe in you. That Makoto, though. I got to play the Bay. That. I got to play the Bay. That Makoto. Yeah, B. Vessels was waiting for me in, in Q. He's like, oh, I gotta find Dorla. Yup, he was waiting all day. Yeah, all right. All right, here we go. He won the little berry. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead, but he's, he's got very smart speed. Oh. 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 Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, just a hard read. Just a hard read. Because most guys want to jump right there. Welcome back, Luca. Stop jumping! <laughs> You're done. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. It's not even fair. Well, because like, okay, one of the things about Yoon is that his die kick is really, really, really good. Yeah. So you'll see a lot of people use it a lot. So I figured, why don't I just take that away from him? So he's in the air. Yeah. One, two, three, like, and uh, a lot of the tendency for guys when they're when they're cornered is to jump because they want to, they want to get out of there, so or they'll try to neutral jump, and especially since Yun can die kick out of a neutral jump, so I decided, well, why don't I just hit him out of the air? And then as soon as I hit him out of the air, I realized he's not doing anything after I hit him out of the air. He's trying to block. Right. Because he was waiting for me to do low short, so he might have been trying to parry. So I said, all right, I'm just gonna go straight command grab, and. It's, I'm just going to apply the pain. That's why Makoto, they always say, if you guess right twice, you have won the, you have won the round. Ah. Because she just snowballs damage. She so just fast. does like half your life mm -hmm. in one go. Mm -hmm. she, I, I honestly think of Makoto Dudley Ken, I think she's the best of those three. I mean, they're all tied. They're in that tier, but I think she is the best of that tier. Mm. Monster J13. Okay. Is there a character you want you want to see play? That I hope I can play. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. And hope I don't mess up. Luca, I miss you. My boy. We need to play again. 37 reloaded. All right, here we go. Yeah. 
Not my pattern, buddy. Oh. Thank you. Wow, the grab was ridiculous. Uh oh. Oh, so let's see right there. Like I walk back and just make sure I can avoid the throw. Yeah. yeah. Can he like? Can he recover with the dragon punch? Strong dragon punch. Uh. To break the foot. Uh yes. Oh, I hit him. I hit him. I don't know. No! Why would you do that? Oh, you're lagging! Come on! Come on, lag scrub! We got oh my gosh! Yeah, that of, was ridiculous! The thing about the Aegis right there is that when he's blocking it, it doesn't disappear as fast because it's not getting hit. Yeah. So it gives me the opportunity to get in there and try and break his guard. So if yeah. I know the way he blocks, yeah. overhead, break the guard, and then launch it, and this guy is dead. <laughs> so, guys, we have a little uh, a little under four minutes, so I want to thank you again for joining us here at Twin Galaxies Live. If you have not done so, hit the follow button. Follow us. Check the schedule on our team page, TwinGalaxiesLive.com. That way you can check out what's going on here. I know tomorrow is Hearthstone, right? Actually, oh, schedule has changed oh. for the weekend. What? We're doing uh, some construction. Oh, that's right. There's a lot of stuff going, like huge things are happening. Okay. And I think for the first, the first weekend in a long time, we will have something going on during uh, Sunday. We have a Tetris championship. Oh, okay. Going on. Okay, I respect that. That's gonna be at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard to 4 a 4 p.m. Okay. Um, but besides that, uh, the uh, events that are on the schedule are canceled. Okay, so 11 a.m. Sunday, be here. But uh, we'll, we will resume to our normal programming on Monday. So if you guys are. Uh, Looking at our schedule, everything will be back to the same way. Starting. So, Urian versus Urian. Ominous Hado. Looks like he was getting it in for a moment. He, he bounced was, uh, off yeah. of the reflector. Yeah, so when you when Urian bounced. And then you juggled him from the other side. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's ridiculous. It's gonna be awesome. Oh! 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 What? Oh no! Oh my gosh! You, he did what you said when he jumped to it. That allows you to like go free range on him. Right. So, uh, most good players are not. They're gonna, gonna parry they're it. They're gonna parry that because they're not gonna hit a button in the air. I was just like, all right, is he gonna hit a button? Oh, oh. But I messed up the combo. Yeah, so he dropped to, it. Yeah. But it could have been a lot worse it for him. It would have be, been like 88. He would have been dead. He literally yeah. would've, 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 that would have been it. So guys, uh, a little over a minute left. We're gonna play it out with some third strike. Again, thank you for joining us here. So this weekend, we've got. A little bit of construction going on, so your regularly scheduled Twin Galaxy programming will resume Sunday at 11 with the Tetris Tournament That's right. of all time. That's right. So if you like Tetris, make sure you tune in on 11, only here at Twin Galaxies Live. Yes. And uh, also, um, you know, why don't we send out the link again for um, for uh, for Push the Team? We will. Yeah, I'll put that in as soon as the broadcast is over. So stay tuned. And uh, again, thank you guys for joining us here. So we're just gonna play it out. Be trying to be trying to get this run back. <laughs> All right, here, here we comes go. the run back. I'm gonna get bopped. I'm gonna get bopped so hard. He's mad. Can you beat him in 30 seconds? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Earl Launcher off that. Thanks for watching, guys. Continue to tune in and see our schedule on TwinGalaxiesLive.com. We love all you guys, and we can't wait to see you again on uh, Sunday.